Oh, hello guys. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Fish Academy. Uh, please, uh, for those of you joining us, we had a little technical issue. Uh, first video when we are trying to come up uh, live by 8 uh, p.m. But uh, we're unable to do that. And I think I need to actually take off uh, that, um, that video uh, so that everybody will concentrate uh, here. Okay? So is your humble friend, Kufre Francis of uh, Fish Academy. So I need to take out the, the older video. Uh, so if you are just joining me, please, I would like uh, to know how you are getting me. If the video quality and the audio quality is okay. Okay. I would like to know that. How is the video quality? Okay. How is the video quality? All right, all right. I've taken out the, the former the former video and then um, please uh let me let me see. Okay, so let's know how you are getting me. How is the video and the audio quality? Yeah, how is the video and the audio quality? Are you actually hearing me? Uh, let, before we continue, please, is a fish farmer's uh, talk show. We are going to discuss a lot of things, and also I'm going to drop the link where you can join us live as uh, usual. Don't forget, today is Sunday, and then we usually have our live program on Sunday. Yeah, we have some people watching us. Please let us know where you are actually watching us from. Uh, I'm not sure you guys are hearing me. Uh, I'm sure that's why I'm not getting feedback. I'm sure someone is not getting me. Please, let us know if you are getting me so we can fix if there is still any issue, please. Please, we need feedback this time. We need feedback, we need feedback. Okay, good evening, Francis. The audio is perfect. All right, thank you, uh, Mr. Martin Sokafo. Uh, yes, sorry, uh, we're actually trying to join, but uh, I wasn't getting the, the screen being actually appear. So it was a little technical issue which we need to solve. And then I know a lot of people are going to be confused because similar video is going to be playing. And then, uh, but I'm sure because I actually I dropped the comment there that people have to at least join after taking up that video. So thank you very much, Mr. Martin Zocafo. Uh, I'm okay with the video. How about the, uh, say the, the audio? How about the video? Are you seeing me clearly? Is the picture, the, the video quality okay? So we can continue. Uh, you can use this medium to invite um, your friends to join us in this program. Just tell them to, uh, to go search on YouTube. You can call them on phone. You can send them a, a text messages. You can actually uh, call them on WhatsApp, uh, tell them that uh, the show has kickstarted, that they need to join the show. All right. So I'm going to drop the link any moment from now. Uh, today we have an interesting topic that we are going to discuss, which you need to stay put. You need to really actually stay put. Today we're going to be talking about uh, feed management. And uh, so you know, uh, most people, they have issue feeding their fish, they feed their fish, the fish are not growing and all that. So um, today we have, okay. Okay, thank you very much. Mr. Uh, Martin Zocafo, aka Rokafo, uh, said that uh, the video quality is okay. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Martin Zocafo. So, um, as I said, as I was trying to say, we're going to have a very interesting topic. We have uh, one reserved uh, person that is, going to, that, is joined, that is going to come live to talk to us. Don't forget, I told you guys the other time that it's not just going to be me talking to you. 
uh, but uh, we're going to be having a lot of people coming live here to talk to us. Um, so today is another day for that uh, program. So um, we actually, I'm not, uh, a lot of people have not joined yet. Actually, when I dropped the Ethereum, when the first one had issue, it was a see people actually joined. We had 40, 40 something views, but uh, don't know how am I going to get them back. Uh, so the live program is on. Oh my God. So um, actually, how was your week? How, how, how was the, the week? For those of you watching from Nigeria and also watching from other country, how, how has been your week? How was the week? Hope you guys enjoy yourself. Also, the latest happening in Nigeria and also the one happening in your country that you are not aware. I, I believe um, everything is going on fine you know, uh, over there. Your end. What is happening? What is happening in your farm? Hope you are. Hope everything is going on well in your farm. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to drop a link. Actually, I'm not going to start with Mr. Oka for first. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to bring him live first until we have a, a lot of people join us. Okay. But first of all, I'm going to open. I'm going to drop the link where you can actually click to appear on the screen. So in case you want to appear on the screen, yeah, please, you can fix up yourself wherever you are. And then once I drop the link, you click on it and then you come up, then you appear on our screen to talk to us. And then if you have any uh, interesting topic that you would like us to, to, to you would like to educate all, us of, uh, we, are well, we are actually welcome. Okay, if you have anything you would like to tell us, things that we don't know, that you will like to uh, tell us uh, those idea uh, uh, or your uh, you are highly welcome. So I'm going to drop the link now. Okay, I'm going to drop the link now. Okay, I'm going to drop. I'm trying to drop the link. Okay, if you check the, the, the message, if you check the comment section, uh, 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 we, have, we have just dropped the link, uh, Fish Academy, check the comment section. If you click on that link, you are going to come up live. You can actually be the first to talk to us, tell us how you are doing, tell us um, uh, the, your success story, tell us uh, how everything is going on, in your farm, tell us about the fish market in your area. Tell us the challenges that you are having, and then right here, there are going, there are a lot of people that are going to uh, tell you they are going to. Okay, okay, yes, yeah, certainly, uh, Mr. Rokafo, Rokafo, aka for aka Rokafo, you are going to be, uh, uh, you are going to be a, a part of the topic. So. Um, the link is there. Please just click on that link uh, to talk to us. Let's know where you are actually watching us from. Don't forget, it's a live program, and then you can actually appear on the screen once you click on the link in the comment section. Actually, my week, uh, let me start with myself. My week has been a nice one. Um, last week, okay, last week has been a nice one. Last week, we, yeah, we made delivery. It was a lie, yeah, last week we made delivery uh, to Otulu uh, in Delta State. That was on Tuesday. I, I, I was in Otulu. And then, um, uh, and then on, on uh, still that same Tuesday, I moved from Otulu down to uh, Benin City and then to check a site in Benin City, okay? Then uh, I, I, I was in Benin City and I, I, I left uh, Benin City. That was on Wednesday uh, to, uh, to Port Harcourt. So it's been a wonderful week. And then um, uh, 
everything has been going on fine. I've been receiving calls from different farms. Uh, certainly, uh, there is progress in, uh, in, uh, in, in various farms that have been calling me. There is a lot of progress. A lot of farmers are seeing positive results this time around in their farm, unlike what they have been experiencing before. A lot of people uh, are, are now making profit uh, through fish farming, unlike uh, uh, what has been uh, happening before. So a lot of farmers are smiling now. And uh, when I go to where, when I go to where the selfish feed, when I go to some, uh, some bed shops, I see fish farmers smiling. I see them park with the, in fact, their cars. In fact, when you see farmers, you see their jeep, you see their cars, you begin to wonder, are these ones still fish farmers? Yeah, certainly they are fish farmers. I tell you, in case you are somewhere still wondering, do farmers make money? Certainly farmers are supposed to be rich. In fact, they are supposed to be richer than every other person. So farmers are actually very, very rich because a farmer also always have the market to sell his product. Unlike someone that is selling clothes in the market or someone that is selling generator or someone that is selling television, you know, or as a fish farmer, at all times, there is someone looking for your, for your, for your goods. There is someone looking for your farm produce at a particular place. Yeah, Mr. Rockerford, I certainly am seeing you behind the camera. And then very soon, yeah, yeah, very soon I'm going to bring you uh, live. Uh, maybe you start to talk to so Francis Francis or oh, no oh, or no men Francis or oh, no men uh, watching us uh, from Washington DC USA uh, thank you for joining us Francis or oh, I, I I I okay I just uh, believe you are going to stay with us while we'll be discussing uh, this interesting topic I don't actually know if I should change maybe what actually is showing there as a topic is not actually inviting, you know? So I, I guess so. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to see how I can change the topic and then to what we are going to discuss today uh, so that uh, people can, uh, people are not interested. I believe most farmers, except it's a comedy show, someone will just sit down and be listening to comedy, um, listening to comedy and then watching the comedy to the end, but at times when it comes to maybe farmers talking, they are not that interested as set is a topic that actually, so actually what we are going to be doing today is going to be very important. So I, I will have up to nine people, we'll have up to 10 people, and then they reduce to two, I'm sure it's because of the topic. So yeah, yeah, we actually, yeah, we have a lot to discuss. Um, me, uh, T, T, V, T, oh my god, let me, I, I, I didn't pronounce that well. How which, how which, um, how which you are going to click, uh, T, V, how which you are going to click on this link now, uh, how which you are going to click on this link now, uh, me, go T, V, so that you talk to us and even pronounce your name, uh, uh, very well, so that. We know actually where are you watching from? I would like us, I would like you to be the first to appear on the screen today. Tiver, uh, Adams, uh, Moms, Moms, uh, you've seen the link also. You can also come, you can also click on that link to appear on the screen. Um, okay, increase, increase profit by reducing cost of feed. Increase profit by reducing cost of feed. Actually, there is one thing we are going to like discuss about. I don't know. It's actually maybe it seems to be that person is in the spirit. Yeah, actually, that is one thing that we want to discuss uh, today. Talking about feeding, how to increase profit through uh, how you how you how you can make more profit uh, feeding or after feeding or after harvest. You know, because a lot of people are are complaining that. Um, they are not actually making profit. So while we are waiting for other people to join the screen, uh, before we uh, start the interesting topic, I would like um, this, uh, Roka for, uh, to, uh, to join us and then maybe say hi to the house. 
and then let the people know who we are having as a reserved person. But before we bring you, uh, uh, no, no, we we'll have Aziz. Aziz, I'm seeing you. I see you are lying down, and I'm not sure you want to appear live. <laughs> Aziz is behind the camera. Aziz, Awumi. I'm not sure. Aziz, Aish, you want to come live? Yeah. I'm not sure, Aziz. I'm not sure, Aziz, who want to come live. But if you want to come live, because from the way I'm seeing you on your bed, I'm, I'm not sure that you want to come live. So before Aziz, maybe uh, prepare to join us uh, on uh, prepare to appear on the screen. Let's uh, bring uh, our reserve person. Okay, Aziz, Aziz is up now. I, I is really prepared now to join us. Aziz is up now. So, Mr. Rokafor, please let's bring Aziz to the screen uh, first before we have you, because you are one of our reserve persons for today's uh, topic. Hello, Aziz. Hi, how are you? Hi, good evening, Aziz. Good evening, how are you? I'm good. Uh, I'm good. Aziz, yeah, Aziz, where, where actually are you uh, uh, watching us from? Or where are you joining us from? I'm actually joining you from Czech Republic. From Czech? From Czech Republic. Yeah, so I'm in Nigeria. Czech? Okay, so how is Czech today? Czech is fine. Czech is doing great. <laughs> okay, that, that's wonderful. All right. Um, and what was the time there? What was the time there? 9.36 p.m. 9.36 p.m. Okay, okay, you guys are one hour, one hour ahead of uh, one hour Nigeria. Ahead of Nigeria, yeah. Yeah, one hour ahead. Actually... Uh, 8 36 uh, people here in Nigeria. Okay, um, Aziz, yeah. how long have you been following up? I just watched a few of your videos um, on Fish Academy. I'm actually also into fish farming. So, and I've seen some of your videos, your initiatives. So, I love them. So, okay. I really love them. You are doing a very great job. All right, th th thank you very much. Thank you yeah. very much. And how long, how long have you, okay, okay, okay. so you just started following us? But, yeah, yeah, uh, I just started uh, following. I've, I've been watching your videos anyway. Those are, those are great jobs. All right, th th thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, thank you're, you welcome. Very, you're welcome. Yeah. Yeah, so um, I believe you are not having any issue with what you are doing. And I, in fact, before we continue, how is, how is the market there in Czech Republic and which of the fish do they love most in Czech Republic? Is it still the catfish? Or do they have any particular fish that they grow in Czech Republic that the Czech, the Chadians like most? Yeah. They have um, the the most common fish here is common carp, Cyprinus carpio. So they are one of the largest producer of Cyprinus carpio in in the entire Europe. Wow. So and they are doing pretty well. The good thing about them is they actually prefer uh, pond farming too. So it's quite a little bit interesting. Although their fish ponds are always like big lakes and dams so you wouldn't even know they are fish ponds anyway so and they are they are doing pretty well they have some uh, indian carps and a uh, chinese carp koi carp also and they are they are doing pretty well i guess they don't really do our some of our fish back in nigeria like african catfish and tilapia because of the temperature so it's really it's pretty difficult for them all right. Okay. So, um, are you a fish farmer or an intending fish farmer? I'm a fish farmer. I have fish farms in Nigeria. You have fish farm. Okay, you are in Nigeria. You are in Nigeria. Uh, okay, I forgot to ask. Okay, I'm, you are in a I'm a Nigerian. Okay. I'm doing my PhD in Czech Republic. So, before okay. I left the country, I already have some fish farms. So and I have people managing it, and he's still working there. I'm still I'm still doing stuffs. 
Okay, which where where is your farm located in Nigeria? I have one in Ijebodi. I have one in um, Songo. Okay, so how how do, you, how do you manage your farm from Czech Republic? <laughs> It's a little bit interesting. I have someone I so much trust that is in charge. And before I left the country, I already put them in, 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 in a good position. So they actually, I see the activities through videos and I make decisions. And I've been, I've been in fish for quite some time now because I actually studied fish. I studied aquaculture, so after my graduation, I started fish, fish farming. I've been consulting to in Nigeria before I left. So I actually have some a little experience, actually. I don't want to say some experience. So and I've been I've been doing I've been doing some stuff too. Okay, so you, you say you've been consulting before you left Nigeria that you yeah. actually studied aquaculture. Uh, certainly, you are one of the persons that I've, I've, I'm in search of, you know, because I really need people who, who have the skill of fish farming to be talking to other fish farmers, you know. So maybe you are, you're still, you are going to be one of our reserve persons as far as you can. I'm here to learn from you. I'm not here to. <laughs> I'm actually here to learn from you. <laughs> I've seen some of your videos. To be honest with you, you are doing a very good job. For me, I'm I'm in the field as an uh, as an expert, and I'm also I'm also in class. Just like I told you, I'm I, I'm I'm also doing my PhD here. I did my masters in Vietnam in Asia, and I'm doing my PhD in Europe, and I'm practicing also. And to be honest with you, you are a leading fish producer in Nigeria, and I really need to actually let you know. So, and I've seen some of the stuff you have done; they are quite very initiative. Those things are African centric, Afrocentric ideas that is going to help us. I've seen many of your videos. You wouldn't even, you wouldn't ever believe them on YouTube. I started following you about one or two, one and a half years ago, and I've seen quite a number of things you are doing. So I'm not here to actually offer you so many helps. I'm here to actually learn from you. <laughs> that, that is not good, man. There is no problem, but just as you said that you are doing a little of your PhD, suddenly that 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 which is taught in the class, we will also wish that you present <laughs> present them as a, as a seminar, as a seminar here. Or you you need to present what the, what you are being taught in the class. You know no you problem. present it. No you, problem. You present it. So this no way you are going to be having this way you are going to be having your seminar. <laughs> no problem brother no problem i'm actually into, i'm actually more interested in the sustainable aquaculture i i am the one of the opinion that there is no way we can have continuity in nigeria if we keep producing the way we produce because we really don't care about the waste water we use and stuff like that. So I delve into sustainable aquaculture. So I'm here doing my PhD in aquaponics and I'll be working with aquaponics for some time now. So this is what I believe if the cost is cut, if we can cut the cost, this is really a good system for Nigeria and tropical countries all over the world. So I'm actually more interested in the sustainable aquaculture and, and hopefully one day we will meet all right, thank you very much. But before you go, I'm going to bring uh, Mr. Roka for to the screen. He may he may have what he may I mean he might want to say one or two things to you. So, Mr. Okay. Roka, you are welcome uh, to our live program. You heard all that uh, Aziz said. What would you want to say? Um, Aziz, uh, it's a pleasure seeing your face, and then. Um, what am I going to say? Um, you are inspiring. From what you said now, I think we're going to learn a lot from you. You know? No, 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 no. Don't shake your head. We're going to learn a lot from you. Yeah. <laughs> Bring that theory and then uh, Francis will dissect that theory into practice. And then we will see how we could benefit. 
from yes, it. I yes, think uh, benefit. fishing is now a global village, or you could say a global village in Nigeria, or it's all for all. Um, is a Wazobian business now? Yes, 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 that way. Yeah. yes. Everyone is involved. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah, you won't believe it. I received um, an oven all the way from Abuja today for smoking and all that. I was so wow. surprised what the guy does, what he does a lot of business and then he's all over the place. Wow. And then he grew up from my own place, but he's from the north. Wow. If you, yeah, if you understand what I mean. Yeah, I'm from um, Imo State, but brought up in uh, Onicha. Okay. And then the guy who done the um, oven for me, um, he lived at Newi, Newi for for many years, about ten years, before he dumbled into uh, making um, a lot of equipments anyway. Okay. So I could say we're gonna learn from each other, everyone. We, yeah. yeah, we have to learn from each other, and just like you said, uh, the fish farming in Nigeria is becoming a, like a village that everybody belongs, and there is um. There is a need for a, this kind of collaboration to actually push it forward. What are we looking for? We are looking for maximum production. We are looking for a sustainable production where we can use minimum cost to produce a maximum, to have a maximum production. In that way, we can have more fish and we can have um, less waste and which will actually benefit the whole population. Because I'm actually a scientist, I know that Nigerians spent, Nigerian as a government, I mean, spend over $500,000 annually on the importation of fish. And all these fish we are producing in Nigeria, we are yet to cover up to 50% of the fish demand in Nigeria. This makes fish farming a very good business for every part of the country, especially in the South, where we are much more educated and we have the resources human resources and everything to actually push these things forward so it's really a very good one and like i said earlier and i'll say it again the guy here the fish academy man himself has really been doing something good and actually sometimes i just say okay let me go watch some videos on his on his page and i go to his youtube platform to see actually some of his videos the first time i saw one of his video it was it was using a uh, bitter leaf as a treatment for a fish disease i was surprised and i actually saw the way it worked so you could see long time you made it very long time do you remember so that yeah. was yeah that was the first time i saw some of your videos and i was like wow this is actually happening there are so many videos you have made and it's actually changing things because um, sometimes, you know, you are rendering some or you are lending some ends into people, but you actually don't know how those things are actually infecting people or how they are imparting a lot of people. And I can commend you that you are doing a great job. Hopefully, we'll be able to push you through. And like my brother here just said, we are going to learn from each other. More to me, I think I'm just going to be the one. I'm going to be the parasite to learn everything from you. <laughs> Aziz, can I say something to you? Ask you something. You um, said you studied in uh, Vietnam, isn't it? Yeah, I studied in Vietnam. Yeah. I did my master's in Vietnam. Okay, but I'm uh, meant to believe that um, catfish, that is the home for catfish. Yeah, but it's not the catfish. It's not the catfish you're saying. It's not our own African catfish. The main, our catfish they have, they main Af the main catfish they have there is not the common catfish in Africa. And majorly, the fish that is actually popular in Vietnam is pangasius. They are one of the largest producers of pangasius. So okay. pangasius is everywhere. And they also have silurus. Silurus is like a European catfish. Okay. For them, they don't like it. because um, sometimes, you know, in, in different parts of the world, the fish they have is based on the, the demand. So in, in Asia, they don't like the African catfish because of the muddy taste, because it tastes muddy. And in this part of the world, it's the same reason why they don't like African catfish. They have it. I'm actually, I'm actually 
in, in the lab where I'm working, they have African catfish, but they don't eat it. <laughs> they prefer to eat common cow. And the same reason is, is so it tastes like mud. So this uh, uh, if your fish or the fish at fish um, the fish in different regions is based on the people's preference. Uh, so, yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah. Uh, but can I say something to you though, Francis? Yeah. Holder, you know when you say uh, fish is muddy and all that, right? It depends on the way you fish fish has been farmed. Yes, I agree yeah. with you. Yeah, I myself here, yeah, I've done fish that I I did I use the recycling for a very long time for about a year on it, and then it tastes as fresh as anything. It hasn't got that muddy taste in it. And then I use uh, garlic. I use garlic and um, ginger as an addictive to their feed. So that helps to flush out their system. Their digestive system, you know what I'm talking about, the digestive system. Because the digestive system is very small. So when you um, inject um, garlic or one of these things in them, it purges them and then sometimes then you get a good taste of the fish. So I that's what I I completely agree with you. But yeah. what happens is when you're talking about it right now, if you check Google, the largest producer of African catfish around the world, or majorly in Africa, is Nigeria. We are actually yeah. there. So it's it says a lot about who we are and what we like. So the yeah. any development that is gonna come for African catfish will probably come from Nigeria. You understand? Yeah. So for other countries that have different kind of fishes that they are developing, some countries they have so many other fishes they are actually farming, the development may not go directly into African catfish. Just like you said now, if you if you farm African catfish in RAS systems, but in many parts of the world, they don't want to farm African catfish in the RAS systems because it's expensive compared to what it goes to the market. Like how yeah. much they get from it from the market. They don't want to farm it in the rat system. They prefer them to stock them. They prefer to stock them in ethane ponds and they harvest after six months or five months. So any development that is going to support the global production of African catfish will probably, well, most importantly, is going to come from Nigeria. And I completely agree with you that if you actually farm it that way or you try to flush them, in some countries they say you purge them. When you pour the African catfish, they, they taste better. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. It's so interesting having Aziz uh, as one of our Thank speakers today on the screen. And then I Thank said, uh, I'm I, I was in fact very, very tired being the only person talking every time. Uh, so I, I decided to, to go extra mile yeah, to ensure, I decided to go extra mile to ensure I that I bring more people to the screen to talk to us. And today, we have uh, we have Aziz, we have Rokafor, and then myself. And it, it might interest you. We are. I'm, 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 I used to say that I don't know it all. Certainly, I tell you, I don't know it all. As far as I don't know it all, we need people that know that area that I don't know. I don't come and talk. Okay, okay. So, that's what the same way that uh, all of us, the same way you are watching, yeah, it's raining. Yeah. I, I, I think there is a lot of um, Okay, okay. Okay, okay. So, um, so we are learning. Uh, but Aziz, before you leave, I, I want to ask you a question. 
Um, a lot of a lot of people are scared that so many people are going into uh, fish farming. A lot of people are scared and they are saying, ah, this one that everybody are going into fish farming. I won't speak to them so people to put fish everywhere. Uh, so uh, what what would you have to tell these people that uh, 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 your camera is on and then I think it's uh, the noise from your hand. From my hand? Yeah. No, Mr. Rokapo, not you, not as if. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, if any... So, if, uh, what do you have to say for those farmers that are scared that, that, more, that a lot of people are going into food farming? Okay, I actually have a lot to say about that because... I've been conversing. I've been conversing for fish farming for a very long time. Even with my friends, I tell people that one of the one of the most important aspects for African and for Nigerian and the whole of African is food is food production. We have long learned the trade of population control, and naturally, fish is the most accessible for most of us because it's cheap. Not just because is cheap, but also because it's um, very nutritious and there is less damage to your health when you are actually consuming fish. So the good thing for you as an African or as a Nigerian, as a business strategist, is that the population is high and there is always food. There is always a need for people to eat food. So fish is actually very important for everyone. And I can tell you categorically, because I said I'm a scientist, the common fish in Nigeria, which is stockfish from all those uh, uh, stores, cold stores, are actually not healthy for people. And I can say it with everything. So they are accessible, they are available, and that is why people actually have to go to them to actually buy them. And I can tell you, there is what we call drip loss. The high percentage of drip loss in those fishes means it contains a nutrient that is less as 10%. For everybody eating stockfish, uh, cold stockfish, uh, in, in, my, in my language, they call it, uh, uh, I've forgotten. But those things are actually not good. So what is there to explore? What we have to explore is the fish farming that produces a fresh, fresh fish for you, you consume you have the maximum nutritious value from those fish, which is our African catfish, tilapia, and now we are having common carp. So yeah. it's a very good business because you cannot have a deficit. In every business, there is a risk. Yes, the risk is also there. You can have flood, take over your farm, you can have some diseases, you can have some theft, you can have some problems. Yes, there are risks, but the chance of actually making profit in the next one year or two years is actually higher than what you have in so many businesses. And I'm telling you this from my own experience. If you start fish farming today, yes, you can fail. You can fail from first cycle, second cycle, you can fail. But once you get your idea right and you follow people like my brother here, you watch some of his videos, you consult him, you ask for his help, Trust me, once you get it right, then you're on the right track. You produce fish. And just like I'm talking to you now, a few days ago, I still produce up to my, one of my fish ponds still produce up to three tons of fish. And it was sold just once. It was sold wow. once. Yes, not even twice. They will come to the farm, they pay the money to your account, and they clear all your fish. You may not be making a million dollar or a million naira at once, but you're making some profit, which is good for you. Yeah. So, all right, thank you very much, Francis. So far, are you ready? Are you ready to join Francis or Wembe? Let me bring you to the screen. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Uh, Aziz, uh, thank, you, thank, so you, very much. thank yeah, you so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. In fact, I, I, I'm so happy. Immediately after now, what I want you to do is for you to um, to contact me. Yeah, okay. please. I don't. You have my contact, my phone number. 
I don't have your phone number, I, but I can message you on your YouTube or drop my details somewhere if you if you don't mind. Yeah, actually, yeah. If you if you check our channel profile, you're gonna see my phone number. You're also gonna see our email address. Okay. Then you mention also Aziz. Once you mention Aziz, then I know that it's you because certainly we need to be talking. We need to be talking very very well. So thank you very yeah. much. For Joining us thank today. you for having me. Thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure, brother. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah. Okay. So uh, that was uh, uh, that was uh, 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 Aziz from Chad Republic. You know, uh, it was wonderful having him. As currently. Uh, uh, studying in Chad Republic, doing his uh, PhD in aquaculture. Uh, in fact, it's been wonderful. As I said, I'm, I'm going to drop the link again uh, in case you want to join us. Before we uh, we kick start the topic for today, which a uh, uh, reserve person is already waiting behind the camera, uh, I will still want to talk to more people before uh, we discuss on the topic, uh, or we discuss on the fish management and all that, which is very is key to fish farming. You know, if you are successful, uh, if you make profit through fish farming, it means that you actually got, it means that you are getting it right in the feeding aspect. So let me drop the link again in case you want to join us, you want to appear on the screen. Okay, so you can just. Um, Check uh, the comment section. I've just dropped the link. Once you click on that link, you uh, then uh, you are going to come and uh, you're going to appear live on the screen. Okay, so that is the link. Check the comment section. All right. So um, Aziz, I've said it all that you, as a fish farmer, you don't need to be scared. Even if everyone in your community are doing fish farming. You don't need to be scared. Even if the entire state are now producer, maybe everyone in the state are producing fish, you don't need to be scared. You don't need to be afraid because there is actually market for it. Because the fish produced in Nigeria is not only consumed in Nigeria, but consumed even in Europe. I have a lot of people the other time. Uh, uh, Mr. Christian talked to us that he dries his fish and sent all the way from Nigeria to Europe. So he can also do that, you know. And then uh, I also to comment on what uh, Mr. Aziz said, talking about the taste of the catfish. Yeah, a lot of farmers get it wrong uh, when, you know, I've been, most people call me and say, ah, Francis, can I uh, do a poultry, a cage, a poultry cage on top of my pond? And I said, no. I tell you, if you feed your fish with poultry droppings, how will you? What, what, how do you think the fish is going to taste when you eat it? If, because the water is going to be stinky smelling, I tell you, that is how your fish is going to taste. Any fish that is harvested from a dirty water, when I say dirty water, I'm not talking about, uh, there, there are some water that are dirty. When I say dirty, dirty and smelling. You know, you keep your fish in a concrete tank because they are bigger fish. Disease don't actually, maybe don't affect them that much because they, are, they have a lot of resistance to disease. And then you keep them in the dirty water. The water is stinky. The water is muddy. I mean, muddy green and all that. You know, smelling. You keep your fish there. You have best fish from that type of water to eat. Certainly, the way that water is smelling, that is how that fish is going to taste. I'm telling you this out of experience, you know? So actually, if you grow your fish in a clean water, your fish will taste nice, okay? So in case maybe you are selling your fish out to hotel, to barbecue pool, uh, sport, uh, uh, and, and all that, if your fish don't taste well, certainly they will come back to you to buy your fish. So ensure that you grow fish in a neat, clean, I mean, good water, good water, very, very important. All right. Um, okay. Um, Mr. Jonah Jude, Jonah Jude, Jonah Jude said that he's going to call soon. And then we have Ram Ramadan Karin. Thank you for the lecture, man. I appreciate. 
Yeah, thank you for joining us, uh, Ramadan. Uh, as I said, we have what we want to discuss today. Mr. Rockefeller, I don't know if we should kick start. Uh, should we or we should uh, uh, wait for others to join? Mr. Rockefeller? All right, okay. So while, while we are still waiting for others to join, I'm going to drop the link again. We have 24 people watching us, okay? Um, okay, we have uh, 24 people watching us at the moment. I've dropped the link again. As I said, I'm not comfortable talking alone on this screen. That's why I, I, I went extra mile to ensure I get, I got the software very, very expensive, about 500,000 Naira annually. That is what I'm gonna be spending on this software. Annually, about 500,000 Naira. I did this so that I can be having you on the screen. Okay, that's why I did that, why I did that so that we'll be having expert talking to us. So please, if you have any problem this time around, maybe I'm not calling you for, for you to teach us. Yeah, but if you have anything you want to teach us, we are very, very ready to listen to you, okay? But if you have any complaint, you have issues in your farm, still click on that link, come on board and talk to us. I tell you, there is somebody that is going to help you, it might not be me. I might not really have the solution to your problem. There are a lot of people that are learned here. This is a learned, this platform is for learned people. You know, there are a lot of learned people that are here. There are a lot of professors. I tell you, I get, I, I do receive calls from different universities, professor calling me, uh, uh, HOD, Department of History, different universities calling me, okay? So I, I as I said, I'm gonna be bringing them what the time for them to be talking to us on this platform. So if you have any problem, even if you don't speak English, this platform is not an yeah, it's not only for English speaking people, all right? Even if you don't know how to speak English, you speak French, you can still talk to us. Certainly we will understand. Okay, there is someone that we understand and then reply you. Even if there is nobody that understand, I will call someone to interpret what you said, and then we, we do the interpretation and all that. And also, if you can also, uh, certainly we may not be able to, uh, yeah, a lot of comments are coming in, but certainly I'm somehow far from the screen seeing your comment. So we'd like you to talk to us. How is business in your area? How is the market in your area? What is what is actually affecting your business? You know, or do you have any testimony you wish to share with us? We had Mr. Aziz, and I'm, I was happy. I'm very happy that Mr. Aziz joined us from Chad Republic today. Um, I think what I'm going to do is that um, uh, for those of you, okay, okay. I think we have someone that is trying that uh, is trying to join us uh, behind the camera. I'm seeing you, Mams. Yeah, Mams is actually behind the camera. Why is positioning to join us live? Um, uh, the man, uh, the, man the, the lady this time around. The last time we we had a program like this, at least Lady G join us from Portland. So today we have Mams. So he's going to tell us where she's actually uh, joining us. From, and then what she have to say. All right, ma'am. Hi. Yeah, ma'am, welcome to our channel. Uh, Thank you so much. All right, where, where are you joining us from? Okay, I'm speaking from Manchester here in the UK. All right. Um, ma'am, speaking from uh, Manchester. Yeah, ma'am, are you, where are you from? I'm from Ghana. I spoke to oh, you earlier on today. I called you today. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, the lady that called me when I told you that I'm going to be live by 8, uh, 8 p.m. Yes, yes, I called you earlier on today. All right, all right. Thank you for joining us. And then, um, how is Manchester today? Old. Yeah, I think you, you told me that, uh, I think when you, at the time you called, you said that you want to set up a fish farm, right? 
Yes, I'm actually a student here and you know, finding a job when you go back home is quite difficult. So I've been doing my research for about a year now. I've been watching all your videos. I've been following you for a year now. Even though right. I just subscribed. All right. Okay, you've been following yeah. up for a year now, but you just subscribed. So what is that thing, that particular video that actually makes you to subscribe? After not subscribing for like a year. Okay, it looks like I finally made a decision that this is what I want to do. Because I've been quite skeptical. So what, what, what I can, if I should ask, what are you studying in a, in a Manchester? Yeah, is it today? my master's in law? Master's in law. And then today you are talking about going into fish farming after your uh, after everything, after your law and everything, you want to go into fish farming. Actually, mm -hmm. this is this is this is interesting, and I, I tell you, is a right uh, decision. This is a decision I took. This is a decision I took when I was in uh, in secondary school. You know, but the decision I took while I was in, yeah while I was in secondary school that once I'm 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 in and out of the university, you know that. Um, I will be going into the agri sector. You know, actually, I, I wasn't thinking about fish. I was thinking about other things. But certainly, I know that I'm going to become a livestock farmer. So uh, it's quite interesting. And I tell you, uh, what you just said now is going to give a lot of people a rethink uh, on what they are doing. A lot of people ask me, "Can I resign from my job? Do you, is it is, is fish farming something that if one should resign?" And uh, from a job, we we uh, we make something out of it. And I said, yes, yeah, certainly you can. A lot of people, a lot of jobs, they're not paying well. A lot, a lot. Imagine. Well, let's not go there. Uh, let's discuss with uh, <laughs> with uh, with the uh, moms from Ghana. Uh, so I wanted to find out. Um, in regards to um starting a fish farm. How much do you think is the right capital to use? Because I remember in one of your videos, you said that there's no amount of money that is too much to start a fish farm. And for yeah. some of us who are students, don't have a substantial amount of money, how much do you say is the amount we could start with? Uh, Mr. Rokafo, I, I, I would like you to answer that question. Uh, I, I guess I guess it's not sleeping. Okay. Okay. Um, mom, it is say. Eh yeah, eh yeah, pa. Okay. Um, this is very interesting, though. Francis has answered this question so many times, right? How much money are you going to start to use to start a business? or to start fish farming is like asking you how much money do you want to use to start a business? you got to have your plan first. This is what I want. Whether um, the type of fish you want to grow, I know from experience that um, tilapia is a very big thing in um, Ghana. And then you got to find out exactly what you want to grow first. And then the type of um, environment. Are you going to use lakes? Are you going to have uh, ponds, uh, concrete ponds? Are you going to have uh, tapol ponds or those um, containers, whatever you want to use? So that's going to determine how much. And then your water supply. You can't do uh, fish farming and then you'll be buying water with a tanker. Even if you have the tanker, it's gonna, it's not gonna work. Yeah, because I have my own, where um, I have something like a perpetual uh, water supply. It comes in and it goes out twenty four hours. Let me say six hours of a day. The water flows in and it flows out. I'm not gonna call it um, flow through, but it's something like that that has been modified. And then it works because there's something I want in my fish, and then I'm getting that. 
So everything depends on what you want. When I started, I didn't have so much money or knowledge about the business. So I started with the basics. So when you start with the basic and then you will grow, as you grow, you modify Which your business. That's exactly what I want to do, to start from yeah. the basics, to start yeah. really, really. Yeah, so what you got to do is uh, people like uh, Francis will advise you where you go get your seed. If you don't get the right seed, you'll be disappointed. And then you got to know the um, processes, basic information. How do you feed a fish? How do you do this? How do you do your water parameters? You know, water parameters is not just um, pH. There's so many stuff that you have to know. And then how do you juggle them up and down? So these are the most, uh, one of the first things you got, to, you got to know. Knowledge is, once you have knowledge, you could do anything. Yes. But if you, don't, if, you have, if you don't have knowledge, you can invest $20 million in it. It's going to go like that. But once you have knowledge, then that knowledge will help you to pilot or make the right decisions. And then you got to know that that is business. And then you will take all that, you know, the African culture. Oh, fish, fish, fish. I have people that always call me. You know what they say? Bros, all right, give me one fish. Ah, bros, um, it's Christmas. Uh, give us two. Oh, we have a burial. Can you give us um, 25 of them? Then one of them said to me, I, had, um, I have uh, my brood stock. Some of them are six feet uh, tall, big. Some of them are about uh, 15 kilos. And then he was saying to me, I want something like that. I said, no, 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 I can't do that. You can't afford to buy my brood stock. If you know how I got my brood stock, you're not going to say this. Anyway, I'm a Nigerian. And then I said to him that my brood stock in, is about... 35,000 for one, if you want it. And then he just backed off. So you got to be very, very serious when you do uh, making decisions. And then you got to be very, very, um, not hard, you got to be very focused. Okay. Because any little mistake, boom, you drown with your fish. Yeah. And then Thank how do you get your, your, your feeding? That is one of the most uh, important things. Yeah, I think uh, Francis could help you more on that. He knows much about that. Yeah, but basically you need knowledge, not money. And then the willpower that I want to do it. I want to succeed. I want to make a mark. You know, those things are the most important things you got to know. Okay. Thank yeah, you it's, a pleasure, it's a pleasure speaking with you anyway. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank, thank, Bye. Thank, thank Bye. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you for helping, uh, uh, Mr. Rokapo. Um, but I'm gonna talk to a uh, man myself this time around because I actually, I actually started little. I started with four white tank. Those tanks. If you've been following me on my video, I started with just four white tank. I had a little support, you know, from my family, okay? Little support, when I say little, I mean very little, little support from my family. And then uh, that wasn't enough. The support that was coming, then I, I just graduated. I just graduated myself. I already talked to myself that I'm not going to work for anybody. As I said, this is a decision I took while I was in secondary school that I'm not going to work for anybody. Personally, I like traveling. If you see me moving from one state to another, from one state to another, it's something I like doing. That's why even Mr. Rokapo will say, man, you have to relax. You travel a lot. It's, I love traveling. So I never wanted to work for anybody because of that hobby that I love. So when I, grad I graduated, I went to my parents. I talked to everybody that uh, I want to go into fish farming. And they said, ah, ah, you, you, that is not what you studied. You studied a professional course, like electrical engineering. And today you are talking about, what do you want people to say? 
that you study electrical engineering and today you want to go into fish farming. I, I told them that is what I want to do. Yeah, sorry to say this, even my father told, because my dad is a businessman, he owned electrical shops, you know, he got the Benelum government area at Five of State. He told me, Ar, let me just, why don't you just stay in one of my shop? At the end of the month, I'm, I'll, I'll look for something I'll give to you. I, I told my dad, that is not the type of money I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. You know, that's not the type of money I'm looking for. Certainly at the end of the month, the money we shift to me might not be more. And any month I, have, I happen to be maybe a little bit stubborn, that money will never come to me. <laughs> that, that, that money will never come to me. Yeah, so I told my dad, I don't want to, I don't want to have, uh, I don't want to, I told him, I, I told him because my dad happens to buy his car at the age of 60, 60 something. I told my dad I don't want to own a car when I'm old. I want to start, I want to have my car when I'm young. Now, you know, when you have all the so strength. At the end of the day, they accepted. They said, fine, you guys. They said, fine. Yeah. Yeah. So at the end of the day, they said, if that is what you want to do, there is no problem. And they prayed for me, you know, and I, I moved. And then I started it. When I started with the little support that was given to me, yeah. I never, I, I had a friend, you know, I had a friend, but I tell you, the money that was given to me to invest in fish farming never went to any other thing. I, I, I don't buy clothes. I don't buy clothes. I don't buy shoe. I don't do anything. I don't do anything. Any money that is being sent to me, you know, I, I invested it everything, 100% into what I was doing. Then I was using bicycle. If you have been following me, you know that there was a time I used to use bicycle while I ride distance to my farm, you know, with a hope that one day I'm going to succeed, you know. If I may ask, did you start your farm from home or you had a designated place that you were using? Um, actually, actually, up, up to today, up to today, my farm, uh, we, we've not yet moved to permanent sites, all right? But there is a permanent site that we've gotten that we are going to move to very soon. Let me say from this week, I'm going to start a fundraising. In fact, on every Wednesday, it's going to be fundraising for Fish Academy Vocational Training Center, where I would like to, 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 to contribute to, to set up that place, you know? I can't wait for yeah. that vocational training center. Because some of yeah. us will come. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're going to set up a, a Fish Academy Vocational Training uh, Center. So in uh, Akwaibu, we say, um, from this Wednesday, we are going to kick start fundraising for that project. It's, it's going to, yeah, it's a, it's a big place. We're going to have hostels. We're going to have, uh, uh, we're going to have different types of fish, not just catfish, tilapia, prawns. Uh, everything we're going to have it there. Everything. Uh, Anything that you can see inside the water, we're going to have it right there. It's a big, it's a big land cutting for that uh, project. So as I was saying, I invested all that was given to me into the farm. Even when it, it came to a point that um, I, I was posted to, to, uh, to go serve, to go do my NYSC, my NYSC, uh, my and, and, uh, course uh, store in Casina. You know, I, I went to Katsina. I was never comfortable. I said, what will I be doing in Katsina? You know, I you mean I'm going to spend one year in Katsina receiving 19800 that cannot buy one bag of rice. I told myself, if I am not redeployed from Katsina, that would be the end of NYSC. You know, because I was, I was, I, I, my, my, my problem was that I needed to go back I return to River State where I have where I have done something, where I have my four tanks, where I have started constructing some few ponds for my fish and needed to return to continue with my business. You know, uh, I'm sorry, I, I hope I'm not taking your time and data. What a story. You know, the story that I need to tell. In fact, they, I'm really enjoying your story. Yeah, yeah so, so when I so when I so I I so much thank God we did everything. I was redeployed to River State. Uh, redeployed to River State, I was sent to, yeah, as someone that studied electrical engineering, I was 
posted to, to a, a power company, you know, right there, they were paying us 25,000 Naira, you know, addition to the 18,900. I said, wow, God, thank you. You know, I started investing that money again because when I went, I want to say something, but let me not even say that aspect. Or when I went oh, to come, <laughs> I want to come with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When I made my first harvest, you know, actually then, then I was I was staying with my sister, you know. When I made my first harvest, I, I moved out from, from, from my sister's place, you know. I rented an apartment for myself because I, oh, yeah. I needed to have my I needed to become a man, you know. I rented my own I, I rented my place. People were here, ah. You just made your first harvest and you are using the money to rent an apartment. You are like, no, 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 no. Are you going to continue? I told them, you see this apartment that I rented? Next year, I'm going to do the same without collecting money from anybody. Are you getting me? I'm going to yes. do the same without collecting money from anybody. Yeah, so I, I used the remaining money. They were, actually, they were angry with me, to be frank. They were angry that I did that. They refused, they didn't give me money for me to go to camp in Katsina. I used the remaining money that I had, moved to camp in Katsina. My, my still my money, I returned to River State, you know. Returning to River State, posted to power PhD, you know. I, I thank God for them. In fact, yeah. Yeah. Um what, what actually happened is that I started investing. The money that came, my NYSE money, the 18,900, 19,800, the 25,000 Naira from PhD, I put them together. I started my farm again after returning from Katsina. You know? And another thing, I called a few of my colleagues because they posted about 60 core members to PhD. I called about 12 of them. I told them, guys, I have a place, I have, I have a farm. But there is nothing right there in the farm. I have the pawns, I have everything. I want 12 people to join me. Let's be contributing 12,000 Naira every month from the money that PhD is going to be paying us. Let's contribute 12,000 Naira out of us at the end of the month, which means we'll end up contributing 100 and, uh, uh, 144,000 Naira. That is enough monthly to run a fish farm, even in small scale. You know, I talk to them, I try to gather because uh, certainly them, they don't, certainly them, they don't have business idea. So none of them got the idea that they were not interested when they that They were not interested. All that they were interested was that immediately after the uh, NYSC store that, uh, uh, that PhD will start them and they become staff, you know. But that is what I me, mean, I wasn't looking up to becoming a star in Nepal because I know they cannot pay me. Certainly, certainly I like money. I like money a lot. I like money. And I know that PhD cannot pay me. There is no amount that they will pay me and I will be comfortable, even when I know I didn't have money. So I push on, they refuse to join me. So I use my money to push on little by little again until I I was able to stand well. And from there, I started growing to this point. Today, the bicycle I used to ride before, today I have my car. I bought with my money without anybody giving me one naira to add to it. Okay? So you can start little. Just that when you start, just like what Mr. Roca was said, you have to know if you're in business, you should be in business. I, I used to tell my friend then, I tell him, I do tell when they say, ah, please give us, I need something. And I said, no. Even when they say, let's go out, let's go sit out. I said, no, I, don't, I can't sit out now. Business before pleasure. You know, once I'm successful with my business, there will be a time that I will enjoy my life. You know, today, I can tell you that I'm not married. Certainly, I'm not married. I can tell you that today, I don't, I don't have time to cook in my house. I can most of the times I eat two times, three times outside fast food. You know, that's I not healthy. I have the money now. It's, it's not. It's not healthy. Wait, wait, I will do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not married. I'm not. I'm, it's not healthy. I know. I know it's not healthy. 
But for now, I don't even know. Certainly, I, I need to wait until the writing is done. I, I know the times I keep imagine imagine that I'm cooking and calls are entering my phone, a lot of text messages that I need to reply, a lot of things. Today when I, I called and you even said I was surprised because I've been yeah. trying to reach you for a long time. Yeah, so I don't I don't even have time. I don't have time to do anything. Most of the times I'm receiving calls, I'm replying messages, and even at that I cannot reply all the messages. All of them. So that's why I tell people, in case you are watching me and all of you watching me, please if you want to send me a message, please direct it to our email. If you send a message down to our email, I have my workers that will reply you. But when it comes to WhatsApp for now, I'm still in charge of my of the WhatsApp, you know. Or for email, any other any any other staff that works with me can reply to these messages. So, and um, there is no money too big for business, and there is no money too, too small for any business. And if you have the capital to start big, there is no crime starting big. Most people say no. I want to. I want to. I want to try. I want to. Uh, if some people that have capacity to to set up fifty thousand capacity fish farm. You see them saying, I, I, I want to try, I want to try with 500 fish first. I tell you, if you have the capacity for 50,000 fish, and then you say you want to try with 500 fish, you will never be encouraged to, to do for 50,000 fish. That's what I just yes. tell them. You will never be encouraged to start up a 50,000 fish. Because starting up a five, starting up a fish farm with 500 fish. You are going to pay your staff. You are going to be daily running costs. You are going to pay your security. You are going to pay a lot of people. The money that you would have paid uh, that person to take care of uh, 50,000 fish, you are paying that person to take care of 500 fish. You know, you are paying, for example, you maybe you have an estimated bill, like in Nigeria that they are doing an estimated bill. You have, they bring you an estimated, knowing that you run a fish farm, they give you an estimated bill of so amount, you know, that same estimated bill can be given to you for 50,000 fish, you know? So at the end of the day, because you grow 500 fish, you now sell out your 500 fish, you begin to complain that there's no profit in fish farming. Well, who said so? It's because of the way you're cooking. But I tell you, if you don't have the capacity for 50,000 fish, and you have the capacity for 500 fish, you will still certainly succeed. Let me tell you why you will succeed. One. You are not a big man. You are not a big woman. Understand? You don't have the capacity of 50,000 fish, which means you are not going to employ anybody. You are going to be the one taking care of your business. You are going to do everything yourself. You are going to feed. You are not, there is no luxury. You are not going to be driving your car because every calculation, everything must be calculated. The movement, you moving from your house to your farm, from farm supplying fish anywhere, those things must be calculated. But if you don't have the capacity, you don't have a car, which means if you grow 500 fish, you are not burning money for petrol in terms of your car, you are not living a luxury, you are not entertaining visitors in your farm in terms of logistics. Because when people come to your farm and then you buy them, uh, uh, you buy them uh, Fanta or Coke, certainly that should be calculated. That certainly should be calculated. That, that is not from this, from the, it should be calculated. So when you do all that, as a small fish farmer, you are not going to be doing all those things. So at the end of the day, you are going to make profit as a small scale fish farmer. Understand? But yes. so there's no money too little. You start whatsoever you have at hand is a good capital to start up a fish farm. Let me conclude it that way. Whatever you have at hand is a good capital to start up a fish farm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. One last question. Um, I wanted to find out, maybe, maybe a useless question, but I'm still going to ask. Um, I've got a small plot of land, which is one plot. I wanted to find out if it's okay to start something small, like okay. to build ponds and all of that. Yeah, yeah, certainly. Certainly, if you have a plot, a plot is big enough for a, a large farm. One plot is big, it can take a lot of fish. One plot okay. of land can take up to 20,000 fish. Okay, okay. So I'll be able to consult you for the planning and all of that, right? There, there's no problem. No problem. Okay, okay. Yeah. all right. So thank you very much. And hopefully when you come to Ghana, I will see you. 
by then I should be home. Thank you so much for your time. All right, thank you very much. And also, yeah, Mr. Rukapo, first of all, uh, replied your message, uh, 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 your talk is also on the screen. So thank you very much, Mr. Rukapo, for doing justice. Uh, for, uh, and also, yeah, yeah. So thank you very much. So uh, we okay. hope to, yeah, on Sunday. On Can Sunday, I say something? Can I say something though? Right. Okay, go ahead. From yeah. what you said in summary, you have to be you have to be focused and determined and then know that you are in business. No money is too big, no money is too small. Everything depends on your priority, what you want. And then you will succeed. And then Thank you I'll so much. Yeah, and then I think seeing you the way you are, I think you are a very focused person. Mm -hmm. I think you're gonna succeed. Yeah, with Francis by your side, Francis is gonna help. Francis is gonna do the best for you because he throws himself into anything he does. I've known him for years. Okay. Even if if it's to bring uh, fingerings to you, he will throw himself into that. He will make sure. You have the right thing. If it's like when well, the first uh, business deal I had with him was for him to supply me with a feed uh, machine. But I could tell you today, I'm a proud owner of an extruder. You know what an extruder is? Extruder, okay. is, extruder is the machine that makes floating uh, feed machine, uh, floating feed. Okay. So I, I'm a proud owner of that. I've got a uh, 150 kilos I could make in an hour. I've got a dryer for that. I've wow. got um, yeah. I've got all the works of the whole business now. And then Francis is the one that motivated me. Yeah, he is the one that inspired me. Yeah, I've watched almost not almost. I've watched all his videos. Let me say 99. 99% of his videos, I've watched all of them. I've seen them. I've seen him weep. I've seen him rejoice. So, yeah. Have you watched the one where his sisters came around? No, you know, I haven't. Oh, you need to go to that one. And then you will understand what he's been saying for a while. Okay, yeah. I will. Have I'll, you I'll seen, look for that video. Have, have you seen him with his uh, bicycle? He no, I didn't this, uh, see that video. Okay, since it's gonna... I'm going to dig down and look for all of those. <laughs> yeah, that that is gonna make you laugh. He packed it at the back. He packed it at the back. Yeah, what you did? How I Yeah, it's very, it's very interesting. No. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, very so, so much. much. Thank you so much for your time today. Bless you. All right, it's all right. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. So, uh, that was interesting. That that is, in fact, I've answered questions that uh, that I mean, regular asked question. A lot of people do ask me that question. How much? And I used to start a fish farm. So in case you are here watching us, uh, you know that that question has been answered, okay? And then if you have a business, I mean, you have you have a family or you have a friend, you have a friend you want to help, you have um, you have a brother, you have a sister, you have a father, mother, or anybody that you want to help, I tell you this is the right time. And then fish farming is one thing that you can actually help your family. To set up, you know, and, and then we we'll actually stop relying on you, and then concentrate on themselves by uh, taking care of their, their own uh, or what have been set up for them, uh, in order for them to make, make ends meet. All right, so uh, it was uh, it was nice speaking with Mom. Mom speaking from uh, Manchester, uh, and then uh, was quite interesting uh, uh, doing law right there in Manchester. So I'm going to drop the link again in case you are just joining us, okay? Um, 
I've just I've just dropped the link again in case you want to appear on the screen. You want to appear on the screen. You want to talk to us. You want to share your problem with us. Certainly, we have a reserved person in person of uh, Roca for you know who has actually been helping us and who will continually help us as far as this program is concerned. So you can just click on that link that I've just dropped in the comment section. Click on the link. You are going to come up live. You're going to appear on the screen. Then you can talk to us. Certainly, there is no problem without solution. Okay? There is no problem without uh, solution. Okay? So, um, uh, I think we have uh, Florence trying to join. Uh, we've not, it hasn't come up fully yet. I guess maybe a network problem. Uh, Florence, keep trying. Certainly, we'd like to have you uh, on the screen. All right. So, Mr. Rocafort. Uh, I saw I saw the your your video uh, on Facebook as regards your fish, you know, and I said, "Wow, the fish they were big." Uh, what what was the secret? Um, the secret is uh, my seed. You have to have a good seed. If you don't have the right seed, forget about it. You, you know what I'm talking. Yeah, you know what I'm talking. About. Am I loud enough? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, I think the secret is getting the right fingerlings. Yeah, that fish you saw there. I started. Um, I started with them, and then some of them is about uh, six uh, six feet long. Yeah, that's their, their, uh, how long they are. Some of them are about 15 uh, kilos in weight. Yeah. And yeah. then um, that is my, what you saw there is my hatchery um, backup business. That's what I've done. Yeah. Right. I've tried um, to have a, um, a good hatchery. So... I've invested back uh, backwards to have a good um, brood stock. All yeah, right. and then I've tried to follow all the um, necessary things that I need to do to get them to that size. Yeah. Right. Now we right. started producing. All right. And then I'm look I've started um, acquiring heterobranchus. So that I could have my own um hetero. Yeah. No, I could have my own hetero and then yeah. I could have the um hybrid. Yeah. Yeah. Hetero and hybrid, yeah. All right. Okay, so uh behind the camera we also have uh, Mr. Francis. Uh, Mr. Francis you can actually see you. I don't know if you would like to join us. Okay, okay. So let's bring Mr. Francis uh to the screen. Right. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Mr. Francis. Good evening, Kufre, and good evening, Mr. Okafo. Mr. Uh, Okafo, how are you? I hope your your treatment is coming along good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. That's, yeah, That's yeah. great. That's yeah. great. Um, I have a question yeah. for um Kufre. Maybe, Mr. Okafo, you can chip in okay. here. So are you familiar with the new um, apps that are out there called like Farm Crowdy and other farming schemes that you can invest a certain amount of money under six months, they give you a percentage of that investment back as a return or ROI on your investment. You're familiar with those, right? Yeah, I think uh, I, I, I see things like that online. I used to, yeah, I, I see things like that online. Yeah. So for those of us that are trying to get our hands wet in the whole fish industry and everything, why don't you set up something like that for you and have people contribute a certain amount for your batches of fish that you're producing for those periods and then you know a return on investment based on what we contribute. Yeah, yeah, certainly. 
Yeah, certainly we are working on that. Uh, we are working on that. I told you, I, I, I mentioned it the other time that it's going to be, that the white paper for that is going to be ready. But um, the person that was preparing that uh, told me that the system got packed up. You know, so we have to start afresh. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, we are working on that. Certainly, uh, we're going to call for investors. You know, to invest in this <coughs> where, where they can be having their, their where they can be getting their return. Certainly, we are working on that. We are working on that. And as from Wednesday, as I said earlier, I don't know if you can us then. We are working on our project. Which will start from, uh, Academy Vocational Training Center, which is different types of fish. And then we do quantity. So certainly we need people to invest uh, in this, then we uh, then also have something in return as we yeah. Okay. I just want you to let you know that a lot of people in the diaspora uh they don't have a lot, but they have enough to invest in such enterprises that you know. Uh, where where it is that you know whenever they come on their whatever is it once every two year visits they don't have to carry uh, money with them if those investments have yielded fruit for them and they can use it to disperse take care of you know their aged parents and stuff like that that's one way to uh, because saying to go set up a business for your nephews or cousins or brothers and everything. And having such investment, those are two different things. Yes, you know, yes, with these yes. people, a better, more comfortable, and easier, less risk environment. I'd rather put my money in the hands of a professional um, than investing in a novice because I want to help them start up. Maybe if I see yeah. my return on investment, you know, it, 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 it stands as a testimony to people through word of mouth advertising that this is what I did. I put this amount of money on this farm with this guy on YouTube, and here's my return. Here's the check. Here's the evidence of what I got. You know, it encourages people to do that. And uh, I just wanted to, you know, come online and um, kind of encourage you to do that. Uh, but by the grace of God, next next month. You will get a personal call from me and we'll, we'll put some ink on paper and start something officially on a one-on-one -on -one basis. I'm looking forward to it. All right, sir. Um, I'm very, very interested. Yeah. yeah. Funny you, enough, where I'm hoping to uh, do what I'm trying to do was exactly where you visited last week. The same town you visited last week is exactly where I'm going to do what I'm doing. So I think uh, I was... <laughs> I was shocked and uh, I was, my mind was going like crazy when you said where you were last week. I was like, that's exactly where I'm going to be sending him to, to go look at my site and let's do some work together. So I'm, I'm, I'm glad that happened and uh, look forward to doing business together. All right, all right, no problem. Uh, it's okay, whenever I'm in Nigeria, I would love to come to your farm. Okay, you're invited though. Appreciate that. Well, Thank yeah. you. Well, you invited, yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you for joining us, uh, Mr. Francis. Uh, please uh, remind me, I think it's the uh, US, right? Yes, Washington, D.C. Yeah, Washington, D.C., Washington, us from U.S. So thank you uh, for talking to us and also reminding us on the white investment plan of Fish Academy. We are actually working on that, and very soon we are going to make, it's going to be made public. And also, not 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 just that. Um, uh, from uh, as from on Wednesday, someone someone called me the other. I think yeah, I think it was through a message. He said, "Why is it that you don't drop speak something for people to contribute?" So I consider that too. Uh, every Wednesday, by God's grace, I think we are going to be having fundraising. Yeah, for the project, at least let's start off something. We're going to start fundraising this outside the investment uh, uh, itself. We're going to have fundraising to 
you start that uh, start off something in that plan. It's a very big plan where we want to set up our fish academy national training center with hostels and everything. We're gonna have hostels to accommodate people. As I speak, I'm expecting some people from Cameroon to arrive in Nigeria for training, you know. So when they come, they have to go, they have to go to the hotel to sleep and all that. So we are looking at a situation where we're going to have all this in one place that when they arrive, they have hostels where they can stay and all that. You have classrooms where we can, uh, where we can do theories and then a lot of things where we can do and also labs and all that. That's what we are looking up to. That's what we want to set up. Uh, hopefully from next year. So fundraising, everyone is going fundraising, fundraising, which I would like everybody to yeah. Yeah. Look forward to seeing that. All right. All right. Good job. All right. Thank you, Tom. Okay. Okay. So, um, uh, oh, man. Okay. So, um, if you are still joining us, uh, and maybe this is the first time you are joining us on this program. Uh, is still your humble friend, Cooper Francis uh, of Best Fish Academy. And then um, this channel we've been providing, uh, we have over 300 videos showing you how to, uh, showing you how to do a lot of things. Okay, showing you how to do a lot of things. Uh, videos on how to treat your fish, videos on how to make your fish feed, videos on and uh, uh, very soon I'm going to come up again with uh, how to produce your fish feed without without the machine you know though I have those videos formula one formula two formula three formula four so we're going to come up with formula five we're going to come up with formula five so in case you've not yet subscribed to this channel all you need to do is for you to hit the subscribe button by the by the right hand side of your system, right hand side below this video. You are going to see the red subscribe button. Click on it. Okay. You click on it. Once you click on it, also endeavor to turn on the notification bell. This is in order for you to be notified whenever we bring you new video. There are a lot of things that we are going to be bringing up again in terms of the RAST uh, system, a lot of people complain, ah, I didn't see how you did this. Certainly we have part one and part two of that video, but we're gonna make a more improved uh, RAS uh, that you can use for your farm, especially for those of you having issues uh, with getting water on the ground, okay? And, and also, you're also gonna see uh, a lot of our projects that we've done. Uh, the good news is that our project we don't have any abandoned project, okay? And also, any moment, anytime soon, anytime soon, uh, I'm going to take a visit down to, I'm going to visit the farm, the uh, first farm we constructed in Anambra, the 100,000 capacity fish farm. Yeah, I, I spoke with, um, with the CEO of that farm, and then we, I think that was last week, and he said, wow, Francis, you need to visit my farm again, and I said, I'm certainly I'm going to do that. So I'm, I'm going to visit that farm so that you see how that where that farm. I, I mean the level of that farm, what they have been able to do so far. They have done a lot of harvest. They, have, they do their fingerlings production there. They do their feed production in that farm. They do a lot of things in that farm. So is uh, that farm? They, they, they are experiencing uh, what they are having there is nothing but success. That is what they are having there. All right, so I'm, I'll be bringing you a video from that farm. And also, I told you guys that the farm in Enugu State, the, the farm that we stock, when did we stock that farm? If you guys have been following us, we stocked that farm a few weeks ago. It's not up to a month. But I'm surprised. I tell you that I called the farm uh, two days ago, and they told me that some of the fish have gotten to, some of the fish I supplied have gotten to 70 grams. 50 something grams, 70 grams, you know? I said, what? You know? Although they still have the smaller ones, but the sugars, which is still in good quantity, I've got into 50 something grams, 70 something grams. And I said, wow, this is wow, wow, you know? So 
uh, fish that we supply at 12, 15 grams, less than how many this thing they have gotten to 70 grams. All right, so that farm in Enugu is going on uh, at that, it's, uh, it's operational now, okay? And then it's been stuck. Though we are still going back there to, you know, project, they don't complete project, in any project. That's why even in road construction, you still see the company going back to do one thing or the other. So we are still going to go back to Enugu to uh, do some kind stuff right there, especially fixing up those mesh nets. That is what is remaining for us to do in that farm. All right, but we have already stopped that farm and it's operational. And also the 100,000 capacity fish farm in Imo State that we are constructing. Uh, what Currently what we are doing now, we are doing the electrification work in that farm. We are doing electrification work right there. The entire job there in terms of the pond construction, everything is completed, okay? So once uh, we complete electrification work in that farm, then we connect it to the small, the pump, the water pump, the submersible pump, then to generator, and then we, we start the treatment of that pump. That is what is keeping that pump right now. But certainly, as I said earlier, that pump, that pump have to be stuck before the end of November, as agreed by my clients. Though he, he will be leaving the country anytime soon, but he has agreed to stop the farm before leaving the country. All right, and also the 50,000 capacity ultra modern fish farm in, in, uh, in still in Imo State is ongoing as we are running up the carpentry work right there in the farm. By this week, the carpenters will be done with the roofing, okay? It's one of our fastest projects. It's one of our fastest uh, projects and then looking forward to completing that project before the end of November. It's one of our fastest projects and we just have to be very fast because we employ new, we ensure we brought in new uh, thing, new skills and all that. And also I tell you that farm is not like the 2020 model. Farm this one is a 2021 model. High tech. You know, most people when they call me say Francis, why do you why do you call a farm an ultra modern fish farm? What makes it ultra modern? What makes it not ultra modern? Okay. A lot of things are going to be in the farm. A lot of things are going to be in the farm, okay? So it is different from every other farm that is anywhere. That is what we set up. A lot of things that you don't even see in the video, there are a lot of things that are in that farm that you don't even see. A farm with, a farm with cameras everywhere around the farm is a modern farm, okay? A farm with cameras everywhere is a modern farm. A farm with a rental, everything in the farm is a modern farm. A farm with, um, with, with some things indoor and all that is a modern farm. So just wait, don't worry, when we return to Anambra to, to, to the farm, you see what I'm talking about, what we've been able to do there and what we are doing in every other project site. So currently, as I said, we don't have any abandoned project. Even if government should give us a project today, certainly we will complete it. We are not going to behave like... Uh, contractors that they give up project and they, though maybe it's because maybe government don't fund them and all that. But uh, I want to first, I want to use this medium to thank all my clients. Some of them might be watching me right now. I want to thank all my clients because they never failed me in terms of uh, ensuring we do what we need to do. Please, I want to tell you, if you want to start up something, ensure that you have, you no, know, no, you have everything have to be on ground especially if it's something you want to do so that you need to have your plans because if you don't have plans and you're going to pond construction, I tell you, you might end up constructing a, a, a farm for five years, you know? So you have to have plans before construction. That's why before we start any construction, we need to see the site plan, you know? And then if it is not somewhere we can visit, we need to see the site plan. Even when we visit, we see at times we get the site plan. We tell you this way, this how it's to be done. Then we come up with the bill of quantity and we tell you this is the materials needed for this job. You know, this is the, uh, the number of blocks that you're going to use. This is the number of cements that you're going to use. This is the number of these, the number of the quantity of nails, the these of board, everything that you're going to buy. We give you that as quotation. And then you have it at hand as a document knowing that 
once you are ready for this project, that this is what you are going to work with. So you don't go into any project without having a document, a working document, okay? So that's what, that is actually what has been helping and my client, they have been, because they have the working document, they have been ensuring they do everything accordingly. And I thank them so much for believing in Fish Academy, you know, uh, and for giving us uh, uh, such uh, projects across uh, Nigeria. Okay, uh, so um, we are we're still talking about uh, fish farming, and then if you are still if you are just joining us, okay, um, let me drop the link again. If you are just joining us and you want to appear on the screen, you want to talk to us, okay. You want to talk to us just below the comment section. The, by, the comment section they have just dropped a link. Fish Academy will just drop a link. If you click on that link, okay, you are going to come live on YouTube. You are going to appear on the screen, okay. So I would like you to just do that. Talk to us. What is the problem in your farm? What's problem? What challenges are you facing? Do you have a fish in your farm and you cannot sell them? I tell you, this is a free, a free, a free platform for that particular one. Not any other thing. Not any other thing for now. You want to sell your fish. You are, in, you are in India, you don't have buyers. You are in uh, uh, South Africa, you are anywhere, you have a farm, and then you are looking for buyers. Just come up here. Talk to us that you have a fish. In fact, I will even, after the video, I will even go and then take your video again and then place it for people to know that, yes, you have a fish to sell somewhere. This is something we want to be doing it's for our viewers. Okay, so uh, in case you have you have challenges selling your fish, there are a lot of people that are looking for fish. Few few minutes ago, we talked to who did we talk to? And he said that yeah, Aziz, Aziz said that the last time he sold his fish, that he sold three tons, three tons. That is three thousand kg at once. That it wasn't something that they said go. Uh, let me go. I will come back again and, and take and, and collect with anyone next week. Everything one day. There is no quantity of fish that you want to sell out in your farm that you cannot sell out in one day, especially when it comes to the smoking size and all that. You can sell everything out in one day and then you make your cash. All right. This is how interesting fish farming is. It's just like your egg for those of you doing poultry. You know, a lot of people book for eggs. Eggs is not even enough for all Nigerians, even not for the fact that they cannot import eggs. I don't know if they import eggs. I, need, I, I think I need to go do some research to see if Nigeria is even importing eggs into the country. But I tell you that the egg that we produce here in Nigeria is not even enough for Nigerians. The, the same thing with everything. Is it young? Is it the crops? Is it the livestock? Is it the chicken itself? And for those of you outside the country, you might be aware the cost of uh, the, the cost of the carton of a day old now, carton of day old now in Nigeria, as of last week, I think it was being sold for 37,000 naira, something that they used to sell for 8,500, 7,500 before. A carton of a day old chips, which contain 50 now, is sold for 30 something, 37,000 naira. So imagine how a uh, 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 broiler or your Christmas chicken is going to be expensive this year. For those of you that will want to come home and then buy uh, something or chicken in the market, I tell you, you are going to be buying some for either close to um, 7,000 to 8,000, and some of them you might be buying chicken up to 10,000 as if you are buying goods. Okay? Uh, that, is, that is how it is. So, um, Christian, I'm just coming back to meet your program. All right, Christian? Yeah. So, the link is still there in case you want to come, you want to discuss with us. Um, we'll just bring you live and then you talk to us. It's one hour, 45 minutes into the program. Uh, in case you're just joining us, you are welcome to Fish Academy.
Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it, at times, it takes uh, people a lot of time, it, just like um, moms that talk to us from uh, Manchester. Mom said that he has been watching our video for over a year, that, but it, she just subscribed. And I, I asked her, why? What happened that you've been watching us for over a year and you're just subscribing to our channel? And she said that, that, that she's not ready for the business. That's why she subscribed. You know, in case um, you are just uh, joining us and you've not subscribed, you've watched our video for one year, two years, three years, you've not subscribed to this channel, uh, you are wrong. Okay? All you need to do is just for you to hit on the subscribe button below this video. Become our subscriber. And I tell you, there are some of the videos that we've posted before that we pop up that you are going to see that will interest you, even if what we are doing now that does not interest you. Okay? A lot of videos we have over 300 videos on this channel actually we wanted to uh discuss or talk about feed i don't know uh if our reserve person is still ready for that should we go ahead mr mr Rokapo? should we go okay okay all right okay mr Rokapo. Yeah, um, we know, yeah, we actually wait. Yeah, I think something is okay. Okay, okay, there's, there's a lot of echo. there's a lot of echo. Hello, I don't know. Hello, can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, loud and clear. Loud. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's, it's clear over there. Yeah, yeah, loud and clear, yeah. No, uh, the way yeah. Clear. Okay, I don't know. Your no, fingers are mute. mute. I'm on mute, I'm on mute. Yeah, okay. Okay. Man, he is not speaking. Over here, echoing, I don't know why. I don't know why. Well, let's go ahead, you can. Yeah, I can hear you though. Okay, let's, let's go ahead. A discussion. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's interesting. Yeah. yeah. Are you gonna get um, Aziz on this? Aziz needs to be on this. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry about that. Uh, before we continue, uh, let me ask the audience if they can hear. Uh, if there is any interruption from your end, if you are watching us right now, we're trying to uh, start the topic for today. I am. In over here where I am, there's a lot of uh, interference here. I don't know if you actually heard uh, uh, Mr. Rocafort well, if there was interference. Was there any interference? Please, we, we need to comment. We need, uh, we need to drop some comments as regards that so that we can kickstart uh, the program for tonight. Did you hear Mr. Rocafort well, or are you even hearing me clearly? Not, not me or him. How was the interaction when I was trying to discuss with Mr. Rokafo? Yeah. Please use the comment section Let's, so we can continue. Okay. I'm going to bring him live again. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to bring him to the screen again to see, but I believe, uh, I believe I don't know where the noise is actually coming from because over there, I think he's getting me clearly. Okay. So I'll bring you to the screen again. Yeah. 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 Are you going to bring the uh, Aziz on this uh, program? Remember the first speaker you had. Okay. Okay. Sorry. 
Yeah, sorry, sorry, Mr. Okay. Yes, there is, there is in my area. Voice is clear. The interference is from Mr. Rokafo's uh, side. Okay, Mr. Rokafo, is it interaction? The interference is from your end. So what, what do we need to do now? Um, I, maybe, I don't know how you use it before. I think you need to return it to the mode that you used before. Yeah, because uh, there's a lot of noise. A lot of noise. You are hearing us clearly, but uh, we are not getting you clearly. It's a lot of interference, yeah. So just uh, check your settings. So we'll bring you live again. But before we bring Mr. Roka for live, our reserve person for tonight's uh, topic, um, let me drop the link again. Let's test. Um, uh, okay. Okay. Okay, I've just dropped a link. Okay, please, I would like someone to click on that link so that we see if the technical issue is from my own end or is from a, a local force end. Click on the link. I would like another person to click on that link so that we confirm what is actually happening. Thank you very much. Uh, please, we need to do this very fast. You don't need to be shy clicking on that link. You don't need to be shy. I believe we have mature people, everybody watching us here, our old fish farmers. And to see your face is not a crime. In the same way, I've been, we've been, you've been seeing my face, you've been seeing other people's face. We'd like to also see your face here. All right? All right? Okay, just click on the link, please, so that we can confirm some certain things and then to start or the program for tonight. We're going to talk about uh, feeding. You know, uh, as I said, if you have been having issues with feeding, Okay, and then you want to get it right. You want to make profit. That is actually what we want to discuss today. So why don't you just click on the link so that we test another, uh, 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 another uh, uh, this thing. I said, okay, let me return to Mr. Rocafort since nobody uh, click on the link. Maybe they don't know where the link is. The link is just at the comment section. That is where I dropped the link. I'm going to drop it again. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's the link. That's the link. The comment section. Just click on that link. Just click on that link. Okay. Yes. Yes. Christian Ule will say that actually there was a lot of noise. Okay. I I believe not as I'm talking now when we we're trying to converse. Right? Mr. Christian, why don't you click on the link so we see? Let's try to know where the issue is from. Mr. Christian, I would like you to click on the link so that we actually see. Uh, okay, let me bring Mr. Roka for again. All right. Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you can do that. The noise is there. Yeah. The noise, the noise is still there. Uh, please, uh, Mr. Christian, you are watching us. Mr. Peters at Tebuno, you are watching us. Um, uh, a lot of people, they are watching us, uh, but nobody is clicking on the link. Is not necessary for me to put? I, I think this is not, I'm, I, not the comment, not, not, not your questions now. What I'm interested now is for someone to click on that link that is dropped at Fish Academy at the comment section. That is what I need someone to do now so that we actually know where the issue is coming from, if it's from my end or from the other end. But nobody is doing that. Huh? Am I disappointed? What is happening? Just hit on the laptop, click on the link. Okay. Um, I think if, if we don't have a clear thing or if there is no feedback for us to do set of work here, we may not be able to continue with that topic. We have 26 people watching. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Francis is here for me. Francis is here for me. So let's see if the noise is actually from my end or from Lukaku's end. Okay. Thank you for joining again uh, for... Again. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear me. Very 
very clear, very clear. And okay. Then I believe the noise interference yeah, is from that. Rotor Force. End. Correct. Yeah, because I hear I hear nothing. I the sound is coming in clear from your side too. So you're good on your end. Okay. 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 Thank you very much. Okay, so Mr. Roca, for the, the technical issue is from your end. Yeah, so um, I don't, uh, uh, okay, so, uh, okay, oh, what am I going to do here, then, man? Um, yeah, okay, okay, oh, man, okay, let's see who is here. Let's see who is here. We have another person here. Okay. 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 We have um, Nelson Njubu. Yes, Hi, good evening. Good evening, Mr. Yes, sir. Yeah, are you? thank you. I'm fine. Thank yes, you please. for joining us tonight. You're welcome. Yeah, please, uh, Mr. Nelson, where are you joining us from? From Uganda. I'm joining you from oh. Uganda. Okay. A nice Uganda yes, today. Please. Uganda is fine. Okay. Can you can you tell us? A little about uh, fish farming in Uganda, how the business is going on there. Oh, yeah, business is going on well. Uh, people are starting to, to, to go in for aquaculture and uh, people are trying to, to come up with fish ponds. So, although concrete is not yet uh, uh, being uh, 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 when it comes to uh, uh, fish farming, people more are interested in the earthen ponds. So when it comes to concrete, they don't have enough technology, they don't have uh, knowledge as well, they don't have um, the skills, some they will just come and tell you, yeah, please do this, do the other. Uh, so we find that we have such challenges here in Uganda. All right. Uh, are you a fish farmer or an intending fish farmer? Uh, yes, I'm a fish farmer. I have some fish ponds, but uh, as well, I want to come up with the concrete ponds as well on a different site. Yeah, so what, what, what do you think, what are the challenges there in terms of uh, fish farming in, uh, in, uh, in Uganda? Again, the challenges we have major uh, those ones like uh, major in the markets. I find that uh, the dealer will come and say, "Yeah, I want to uh, take uh, take up all your stock," and then he may he may receive one, for example, and will tell you that no, now your uh, your stock I'm going to give you at this price. And then when you value your stock and say you are not making any profit, then you send that one away. And then you receive another one. Then also that one will also come with his own price. Uh, if you make profit, then you allow that one to take your stock. But in most cases, it is in the markets because he will tell you that no, the price which is on the market is, uh, is such and such. So, it, uh, if you find you are you make profit, you allow your stock to go. If you don't make profit, you let your stock st uh, stay in your pond. Okay, and then uh, well, yeah. which type of which fish do people grow most there in uh, Uganda? Is still the catfish, or you have any other catfish that people love most in, uh, in Uganda? Um, we have. Um, we have catfish as well and tilapia, Nilo patch also. 
but we majorly in the fish ponds, we have uh, uh, catfish and tilapia, nile tilapia type. Okay. So, um, yes, please. All right. So, um, can I, if I should ask, how many fish do you stock in your farm? Like, how many, what's the capacity <laughs> of your farm? Sorry to ask. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, in my farm, uh, I normally stock uh, eight thousand, ten thousand around that range because I have the ethan pond, which is around. Uh, um, in terms of uh, of meters, it is seventeen by thirty-four. Yeah. Yes, please. Okay. Okay, that's good. Ten thousand fish in the farm is, is much, man. It's not it's not easy to, to grow ten thousand fish. It's, it's much, oh, yeah. It's much. Yeah, it is, yes, yes, it is much. And, and, and how about how about feeding in that area? How about uh, 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 also, about we food? have we yeah, we have challenges uh, on the side of feeding because we have some manufacturers for feeds. And uh, though we have high costs on feed as well, because costs of feed is almost everywhere has a challenge. So um, we normally use uh, those uh, manufactured feeds, yeah, mostly. Okay, and then you you don't produce to feed your fish. Oh yeah, we. We bought some uh, machines that we want to use uh, such that we are able to manufacture, I mean, to produce our feed by ourselves. All right, so um, yes. that's nice, nice, nice speaking to you. Uh, nice having you from uh, Uganda. Uh, yes, please. I don't know if uh, Mr. Rokapo will have some uh, things to say or maybe questions to ask you or maybe uh, Rokapo to bring you that again or I don't know if we were. Um, well, um, uh, Mr. Mr. Sorry, I can't say the name again. Yeah, so our, our uh, you are joining us from uh, Uganda. Yeah, actually, I had a, I think a friend who studied in Uganda with my NYC, he was in the same room with me in, uh, in, in Katsina. He studied there in Nigeria anyway, so I, he told me more much about Uganda. So I'm, I'm happy that I'm talking with you. And then I tell you, if you have challenges selling your fish, even right there in Uganda, uh, this platform is open for you to sell your fish, even right there in Uganda. All right, because what, what we want to do we try to get different fish farmers from different places and then even advertise their, their market or their, their farm to all the fish for, for people either, for people there in Uganda to know that, yeah, there is somebody here in Uganda that or in a particular country that have what he or she is looking for. So that's what we want to do here in terms of selling of uh, fish. What's happening, even if there are people looking for fish everywhere, certainly. And then just as uh, you said that most people come to the farm and then they price it low. I think that's what you said. Yes, please. Um, yep. That one is actually very common. Yeah. Very common. And uh, if the farmers don't have a very good network uh, to find out what is the current price? Uh, what is, uh, because somebody will come and will tell you that, no, this is what I'm giving you, and uh, uh, which may not be even what is in the market uh, yeah, as so far as. And so, if we have a network, uh, for example, like this YouTube, uh, this platform can as well help us because uh, if I have my stock, I can as, as well come. Uh, on this platform and say, no, look here, I have this type of stock, so it can as well help us, because if I have like 25, then it can easily help us say, uh, please, 25 stock is ready for one to, uh, to take it up. Yeah, yeah, so no, no, no problem. So yes. uh, advice for the Ugandan, 
is that they should uh, make the market research. They should uh, make some, do some market survey. You know, know actually the prices of fish in the market. And what I used to tell people, most people they just rush to sell their fish. Maybe someone is having problem, family problem, or things. Just rush to the farm. Just sell it out at any cost to anybody. And then no, it shouldn't be done that way. But if any farmer that does not calculate, uh, in fact, the people that are complaining that there's no profit in fish farming, mostly some of them are the ones that don't uh, maybe. Uh, you see, a, you see a fish farmer, a fish farmer that does not grow. You know, this that type of a fish farmer is someone that is not actually calculating what is happening in his farm. As I see, when they come to the farm, they sell their fish at any amount. Someone will come to carry fish, say this one is saying, no, no, no. You have to make some calculations to know if after sales you are going to make profit or you are going to lose. So uh, there must be of regular market checks to know the current prices of uh, stock in the market. And one, one, yeah. point, one point, yeah, one funny thing is that the middle, the middle men, let me put it that way, they are actually, in fact, they are the they are the people actually uh, killing the business. Let me put it that way. You know, when yes, someone please. if they come to your farm to yeah, they come to your farm to pack your fish at a very low price, then they go back to the market to sell it times three, times four of what they okay, buy, yeah, uh, okay. what they, uh, uh, they got the fish from the farm. So that's why we said no matter what you are doing, you can at times even if you cannot maybe fully. 100% bypass uh, the middleman. You can just maybe a little, maybe smoke your fish. If they are buying, if they do come to your farm to buy your fish to go and smoke, to go and dry, you can say, fine, I'm selling 50% fresh out. I'm drying 50%. You understand? So you can make it that way. Then you see you, you make profit. Okay? And some of the fish, you grow them to certain size, you must know the sizes of fish that is needed in your area. If it is one kg, if it is two kg, if it is three kg, then from there, that is when you know uh, 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 how to go about it. All right. So, uh, Anthony, is there any is there anything you would like to talk to us? Oh yeah, anything you like to yeah. Uh, one is on uh, this on uh, on hatchery. Okay. Um, Yes, please. I find that uh, they are. I've also watched mm -hmm. most of your videos, and uh, uh, we need more uh, light on those stages uh, in the hatchery, at least from from uh, stages from the from uh, releasing of the eggs to at least fingering stage. Uh, if you okay. can come up with those videos clearly, they would help us more as well. All right, all right. Certainly we have, mm -hmm. we have videos of that kind. We have those mm -hmm. videos. We have those videos on our our channel. Uh, yes, and also we are waiting for your Formula 5 video for the feed. All right. All right. No, yes, no problem. Uh, yes. And um, possibly uh, most, most farmers majorly, what I would say, are the challenges that they normally go through are uh, those ones of uh, uh, poor management actually at the farm. Okay. Yeah, poor management, yeah, that may arise uh, one because of security. Uh, if you don't secure your farm very well, you know. Two, uh, like for the earthen ponds, as you have been mentioning it, is flooding, which is very common. Uh, and then three is getting the trusted person uh, whom you are putting on your farm. Because like for our case, you find some areas whereby uh, if your place is not properly secured, they will come and take your fish at night. 
and even the the person you have left there as your trusted person may connive with the thieves and they take your fish. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh, so Mr. Yeah, Mr. Francis is asking, say, which kind of fish is popular in Uganda? Yes, uh, I said that uh, we have uh, catfish, tilapia, the Nilo tilapia, and the Nilo patch. Those are very common. Okay, all right. Yeah. All right. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, we, uh, we lost that. We lost that. All right. Uh, so we have, uh, we have, uh, we have, we have Florence behind the camera. We have Christian behind the camera. And uh, we're going to bring these people live so they talk to us. Okay, so first of all, uh, let me bring Florence Omorege. Hi, Florence Omorege. Hello, Kupre. How are you doing? I'm fine. Good evening. Uh, where are you joining us from? I'm calling from New Jersey, in the United States. Your voice is low, not getting it clearly. Your voice is somehow low. I'm calling from New Jersey, New Jersey, in the US. Can you hear me better now? OK, OK. OK, joining us from you. Yeah, joining, joining from US. Yeah, I can hear you. OK, perfect. All right. So, um, by the way, congratulations. This is great. I, I've called into your show a couple of times before, like once or twice. So it's, it's, it's good to be here on this platform. All right. Yeah. So, um, so one of the things I All wanted right. to talk by the way, Ms., um, Mr. Ocaso, Mr. Rocaso, thanks for joining. I've learned a lot from him. So thanks, Kupre, for adding, um, bringing Rocaso in. Rofaco, how are you? Thanks for joining. Thank you. Yeah. So, um, so I've I've heard you uh, talk about the um, extruder machine and advertise it, and I'm very interested in the uh, extruder machine. But the only thing holding me back is this: I need to be. My farm is in Nigeria. It's in Benin. As it's a, about a forty thousand capacity farm, and I plan to increase. To a hundred thousand, you know, wow. two year plan, two year plan. All right. So yeah, uh, but, yeah. But what I would like to get accomplished first before I expand is to start making my own um, feed. You know, going into my feed production. And but before I place uh, an order for an extruder, I really would like to know. Um, to have a supply chain of the people that will be supplying me raw materials, okay, at affordable, good quality raw materials at affordable prices. So that is the yeah. one thing that I would like to, to get taken care of before I, I, I call you to um, place an order from a machine. You know, you know, items like the maize or fowl, wheat or fowl, soya beans cake, and the granite cake, fish meal, um, stuff like that. So to get a to be able to know that the and the micronutrients, so so that is the least two challenge I see, and everybody's warning me about it. They are saying raw materials are hard to find; it's not easy to get them at an affordable price. So, what do you have to say? Okay, okay. Talking about talking about raw materials, raw, when you talk about raw materials, it. Is the corn is corn hard to see, hard to find? No. Is wheat offer hard to find? Yeah, most people re replace wheat offer with rice brown. But I tell you, any of these two is available. You understand? It's not hard to find. Is it uh, the, the the is it the, the sorry the, the GNC is not hard to find? All these things they are available in Portaco here, they are available. All of them, there is none that you are looking for that you will not see. And what's come to worst, you need it in Benin, 
can load it right from where they take it from down to your farm, even if you need a trailer load. Are you getting me? Even if you need a trailer load of that raw material in your farm, it will be supplied. So don't allow anybody to discourage you that sourcing of raw materials is hard. It's not hard. There is raw materials everywhere. Well, that's yeah. good to hear. Good to, it's good to hear you say that. Because the people that have been telling me this are people who, you know, came into fish business before I did. And they told me that those are some of the challenges, you know. So, well, um, all right then. <laughs> you know, and fish meal. Fish meal, I know that one. I know I can get from Wari because it's just right, you know, close to me right yeah. there for the fish meal part of yeah. it. But, but I've been told severally that it's not worth the trouble by the time you have to do with staff deal with electricity, buying spoil, and so many negative things about making your own feed. I'm like, so who do I believe? Who do I believe? I know that you've taught us because I've been following you for about three years, two and a half years now. And, okay. and you, uh, you keep saying, do your own feed. I, I've gone through all your recipes. I've followed you. But um, this is why I'm actually not going ahead yet. I'm, I'm just waiting to be able to get that list of constant supply chains. That will not be disrupted and affordable, affordable also. So they might have it in for, for tackle, but is it affordable? So is affordable. Yeah, certainly affordable, affordable, very well. Yeah. All right. So, so I'll be reaching um, out. Yeah. out to you. So how how do you? Uh, the question I like asking uh, people that are outside the country on their who have their farm in Nigeria or outside their country the base is how do you manage your farm from outside the country because oh, well, most well, people are interested so how do you manage your farm from all right so, so by the grace of god december will be my third third harvest so because i started uh, last year and so the way i do this is i'm very much involved in the day-to-day -day operation thank god for whatsapp thank god for video calls for every port, I, I pay directly into the feed company. I don't give anybody cash. I, you know, we have a feed company in the fishing community where I have my fish uh, farm. We have over 300 farmers in that uh, community. So we have a feed company there. We pay money into their um, account. And from there, you know, the workers, um, I, have, I have my mom actually, she, she watches uh, the farm for me. But then, you know, that's how I'm able to manage. But I'm still very much involved. You know, I had to call them this morning. They, they call me to put me on video when they I have eight etting ponds and three tapolin ponds. So when on, during the weekend or anytime my mom is not going to be around, by the time they bring out the feed to start feeding, they put me on video call and they set it up on a... And then if I watch them go from pond to pond, I see the way they utilize the, um, the feed you know, uh, and that's how I manage it. And when it comes to foil, you know, I send them money on a weekly basis. They buy the foil, you know, and then the usage is monitored. It's, it's very involving. It's, 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 it's quite very challenging, I have to say. But when you have a vision and a goal and you have people like you encouraging us, it helps. It helps. It's, it's, it's rough from abroad. I have to say it's very, it's very, very challenging. Um, so basically that's how it is. All right, th thank you very much. But you, you say you've done three harvests so far. And then most people will be interested, most, a lot of people will be interested. The three harvests that you made, did you make profit during your first harvest? Did you make profit during your second harvest? Or uh, did you make profit during your third harvest? Okay, so the third harvest is, is yet to come. That one is in the You got my question? But the first two I did, I did not. Um, I did not. Uh, first and foremost, the first one was because of COVID, okay? So I was in Nigeria, my personally to sell my fish, they did very, the first batch did excellently well. But uh, the market women wanted to buy on credit in Benin, the system that runs in Benin is they buy on credit and then they pay you three, four days later. I refused to sell. I put in so much money into, I was scared, I was afraid. So I refused to sell because of that. It took me a longer time to sell. So when COVID came, COVID-19, and the restaurants and hotels closed, nobody was buying. So what happened was I spent more time feeding the fishes, growing bigger, but there was no buyer. 
<laughs> so you understand? So, uh, and that affected me, but I saw the potential. In other words, if that wasn't, if that didn't happen, I knew that I was definitely going to break even and make some profit. But because of these other issues, I didn't. So, but the second harvest didn't do well. Fishes didn't do well. I was given bad fish that didn't grow well. And so I didn't make it. But again, I saw the potential because if they made, if the fishes were good, if I got good stock, then I would have made profit. But that didn't stop me. So <laughs> I'm on the third row. So. All right. So uh, one, one, thing, one thing that you are going to do, I'll still advise you that you produce, you have the, the fish in your, in your farm, they are much. It's not easy to feed 40,000 fish. That is millions of naira feeding. Hello. Understand? But I tell you, if you start producing, even if you are still buying feed, juice to complement the, the ones you are buying from the feed shop, certainly you will make more profit. Except you are not interested in making more profit. But if you are interested in making more profit, please don't allow anybody to advise you that there is no raw material or there is no this, there is no that, because they are all available. You can contact me immediately at uh, by tomorrow after this live program. Even if you want me to give you the dealer's number, I will give you the dealer's number direct. I then that. you communicate with the person, then you can negotiate. Yeah, then you negotiate direct how you are going to be getting trucks of wheat over, truck of GNC, truck of uh, corn, truck of uh, everything that you want. Certainly, if you need it, if you need them, take it down there for you. So don't be discouraged by people that don't know much about it, okay? All right, but I, okay, uh, so uh, I'm gonna reach out to you. I do need the dealer's number, that's the truth. I need, if I don't get a dealer's number and speak to them directly, I will not, it will hinder me from moving forward. So I would appreciate if I reach out to you and you send that to me, I, I would really appreciate that. Because with that, uh, I speak to them, and I'm able to plan, you know, and put money aside for raw materials, for the machine I'm going to order, the generator and setting up the factory, it, it helps me prepare better. Yeah, sure, sure. So thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much for joining us from the uh, US. Thank you. I was, All right. I was hoping I was able to say hello to uh, Rokafo because um, yeah. I see yes. a big farmer. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Yeah. yeah. I, 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 see, see, I like I like, I like people like you. Like you. You, you, are, you, are, you are, you know. I like I like, I like your, your idea. idea. I know, yeah. yeah. And there's something you said that, that, is, that is making, making me feel a bit. Yeah. You said that. Yeah, sir. Sorry, sorry, sorry to cut you short. Uh, Mr. Rokafo, uh, there is a lot of interference. I, I, uh, uh, Mrs. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't, I don't know if you got uh, Mrs. Uh, Mr. Rokafo well. Did you? I think there's a lot of interference from there. Did you hear him well? Yeah, it was a lot of background noise and echo, so I couldn't really make out what he was saying. But he said something about, I think I made out what he said about. Liking me and liking what I'm doing or something, I, I can't. I, I didn't hear him all very well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, um, uh, look like, for I think. They... Yeah, I'd like to get his contact. Go ahead. I'd like to get Mr. Rocafo's contact, his, his full name and stuff, so I can reach out to him personally. So that you never know, we probably can do synergize and do business together. All right, no, no, no problem, no yeah. problem. All right, um, nice uh, speaking uh, with you. All right, you have a nice night, uh, and then prepare to vote. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Bye. So uh, that was uh, a fish farmer uh, based in the uh, US, who on a farm in Benin. You know, so quite, uh, quite in, uh, quite, quite interesting. Uh, uh, 
quite was quite interesting, you know. Okay. Yeah, it was quite interesting having her in the studio, or having her talk to us. Uh, I believe it, it, it encouraged us, especially for those of us or those of you living uh, outside your country or far from your state. He actually said something, how you can manage your farm from outside. You don't, you don't need to be there. Certainly, I do tell people, people say, ah, if you are doing business, you need to do business where you are so that you can be monitoring, you can be seeing your stuff. And I said, no, it's not done that way. You Once you have the right people on ground, certainly you don't need to be on ground. Dangote, Dangote is not in his factory. You know, even even when he, when even when the, the refinery starts, it's not gonna be it's not gonna be there in the refinery. It's not there where they are uh, bagging the cement or where they are producing the, the, the spaghetti or every day. That would say is not there. When you have the right people in place to manage your business, then certainly you don't you don't need there's nothing for you to worry about whether you are in the country or not. Okay. So that is uh, that is that. So I believe a lot of us learned something from her, um, and then most people will discourage you. That, that is one thing that she said, and I think uh, that was still affecting her. Most people will come and discourage you. Say, "Ah, this is you are doing. Ah, don't do it. To ah, uh, this is that that that. You are not going to see the this in Dubai. You are not going to see this. Most of the times, maybe." So that either you keep buying feed or this or that, at the end of the day, you end up not making more profit. Why do you think that a lot of uh, this thing are not happy with me? Because I tell people, produce your feed. Certainly, you have to produce. When you produce your feed, you, your fish will do better. I tell you, your feed, your, your, the feed you produce in your farm will all will like the equivalent to the imported feed, even more. I tell you this because when I feed my fish with the feed I produce in my farm, even without even putting some micronutrients, I'm telling you this, even be, without even including some micronutrients, the fish still do well, better. Okay? Even without including micronutrients. Because what fish need for them to grow well is protein. Then they need carbohydrates. But they need mostly protein. And then if you can see your animal protein, if you can see your animal protein, fine, you include that. Then your fish do better because they do better with animal protein, more than plant protein. Okay? That's why you see they include, you include soya beans, you, have, you still include fish meal, okay, in order to have the, the animal protein and all that. It makes your fish grow better and faster. Okay, and then a lot of people go to where they sell these uh, uh, intestines and they get intestine. You use that to feed your fish, your fish do better. I tell you, if you feed your fish with intestine, you feed your fish with intestine, this chicken intestine, you can even feed them once in three days and they will still do very, very well. I'm telling you something that I know. If you feed your fish with intestine, you can even feed them with that intestine once in three days. They will still grow very, very well. Okay, so in case you are just joining us, okay? Sorry, it was a water break. All right, so uh, in case you are, you, are just, you are just joining us, all you need to do is for you to look below this video by the right hand side of your phone or anything. Click on the red subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. This is how to subscribe. If you have just done that, it means you are now in our team. It means you have now 
a full member of Fish Academy. You don't need to pay any school fee. All you need to do is for you to just click on the right subscribe button. You are not, we are not calling you to pay school fee, to pay a monthly fee, weekly fee, or yearly fee. I'm not calling you to make any, any payment. All you need to do, click on the subscribe button. It is free. When, once you click on the subscribe button, you are not going to, nobody is taking money from you. Okay? It is purely free. I'm not going to charge you for clicking on the subscribe button. Okay? It's purely free. It's free, free of charge. So hit on the subscribe button. And also, if you like what we are doing, you can also hit on the like uh, button. Okay, once you hit on the like button. Uh, and also, if you don't also like what we are doing, you, this is the like button. By the left-hand side of your system, you click on it. And if you don't like what we are doing, you also see this one that faces down. Okay, like this. You see the one that faces down. If you don't like what we are doing, you click on that one to show us that ah, what you are doing, man, is... It's not making sense. Then we will go and, and, and check why it's not making sense. Okay, so I just do that. Okay, it's a feedback sign, and then um, don't forget we are going to be having this program every Sunday. We're going to be having a lot of people talking to us. You're going to be learning a lot of things. You are going to be you are going to be encouraged or discouraged by a lot of people right here on this channel. But certainly, I tell you. Whatsoever you are going to have here on this channel is going to inspire you. Then you are going to see those things that you are doing right and those things that you are doing wrong. So far, even myself, the presenter, I tell you that I'm learning new things. I'm learning, I'm actually learning new things because people are talking to me. People are talking to us. I tell you, I am not the master. I'm not Mr. Know-all. I keep saying it. I am not Mr. Know-all. So that's why I, I went I, 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 I went a little step further to buy this software in order for me to be bringing people to talk to us. This software is going to cost me about 500,000 Naira yearly. Every year I'm going to spend about 500,000 and if it's being reviewed, certainly I'm going to pay over 500, maybe to 600, to 700,000 Naira every month for this uh, to run. On this channel so you see that I've actually gone a step further to do something very very important something that some people will not want to do I just have to do it for you yes for you so if we will not go this we will not go this step we are not we will not I, I, I'm not sure that someone will see how much I've invested in making this program free and beneficial to everybody and then someone will still not hit on the subscribe button, or someone will not still hit on this uh, on the like button. Man, it shows that man, it is not appreciated. But I tell you, whether you appreciate what I'm doing or you don't appreciate what I'm doing, certainly I will keep doing it. I'm not discouraged by anybody, by anything or whatsoever. So, um, so far, I want to thank a lot of uh, you guys that have subscribed because this channel we are about to to click 70,000 subscribers. We are about to click, I believe by the end of this week, we should be getting up to 70,000 subscribers. And wow, it's wonderful. In less than, in three years, because this channel, we opened this channel, that was October 2017. That was when we posted our first video on this channel. And we've got it about few subscribers for us to get to 70,000 subscribers. And also we've been able to reach over, over uh, 6 million people have viewed all our videos. In fact, our total views, let me say total views, let me not say 6 million people. Total views on this channel is over 6 million. In other words, I can say that I have been able to impact Positively, the life of 70,000 people, because for, for, for people to subscribe to your channel, it means they are, benefic they are benefiting, okay? So I've been able to impact the life of 70,000 people directly, and then I've been able to impact the life of over 5 million people indirectly, okay? I'm talking about those, that, those, those ones, the over 5 million, they are the secret disciples. Yeah, my secret disciples, they don't say hi, they don't like, 
they don't unlike, they don't like, they don't subscribe, they don't do anything. All they do is they just follow. They just want to see who is this boy talking. Yes, it's me, your humble friend, who free by my Francis, the fish farmer. Okay, so we have over six million people that have viewed all our videos on this channel. All right, yeah, so I thank you all for making this channel your most preferred channel on YouTube. Uh, I, most of the times, if I say as regards fish farming, I, I might be wrong because someone like Mr. Rokapo, okay, a business mongoo who based in London. We will never see this. My we will never see me live or see any of my video without clicking to watch from the beginning to the end. So let me bring Mr. Roka for live again. Yeah. 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 So yeah. Yeah. This. Uh, yeah, this uh, Hello. Hello, guys. Yeah. Okay, so this is Mr. Roka for Mr. The, 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 the stuff is actually clear now. The interference is no longer there. There is no more noise. Okay, can you br uh, bring uh, Florence back, please? Oh, Florence, Florence. Except, except, except she's still watching us, but she's not behind the camera again. Okay. Except she's so if, if Florence, if you are still watching us, you can join us again so that I bring you. Uh, to the screen. Florence, if you are still watching us, come live again so that we bring you to the screen. Alright, so uh, I believe it was a technical issue that was why we had that interference. Yeah, yeah um, um, this is Mr. Roka, as I said, one of my biggest fans. You know, we've done business together, he follows me, he's someone that advised me every time. He said, Francis, and you travel here, you travel here, you go here, you go here. You need, you need to relax so that something will not happen to you in the future. And I tell you, Mr. Robert, I, I do heed to your instructions, to your advice. I've relaxed for some time now. I don't know the way I used to move before. Before, I don't, I don't even stay in my house. But now, at least, out of one week, out of seven days, at least I can maybe stay up to four days in my house this day. Unlike before that, a whole week I will not I will not even be anywhere close to my house. Yeah. So thank you very much for your words of advice. Oh lad. Can, can you hear me? Yeah, go on. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, and then uh, uh, Mr. Roca for uh, you know, actually, we're trying to discuss on a topic, but I'm not sure that will be possible again. That will be uh, possible again tonight. I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, it's already... Yeah, some people have gone to bed. I got some comment that, uh, yeah, some people have gone to bed. So I'm sure we're going to post, we're going to shoot this till next uh, Sunday so that you talk to us on that interesting topic. Even while we make more research on that, about uh, food feeding, I, I mean, we are still going to, I think on Sunday, we will make it a full package so that we also talk on the FCR, the feed conversion ratio. Yeah, what you should be expecting of your fish per every gram of feed you give to your fish. So, uh, that certainly is, will be a joint, a joint uh, lecture. So, then we'll talk on the feed conversion ratio. The quantity of feed or the, the, the ground you're supposed to, the, what your fish is supposed to attain after feeding them with a particular uh, uh, amount of uh, quantity of feed. We are going to talk about that. So it's going to be an interesting topic on Sunday by God's grace. Yeah, so let me, um, in case you are just joining us, okay, so the sound is good now. Yeah, the sound is good now. Yeah. So uh, we have uh, DC watching. Uh, we have DC watching. Um, we have DC watching. Uh, and then I'm going to drop the link again in case you want to join us. You want to appear on the screen. Then you click. You want to appear on the screen. You click on the link that I've just drawn. Just click on that link, you are going to appear on the screen. When you talk to us, it's not still too late. 
I, 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 I do. A, I, one thing I used to do is that I ensure, I ensure. Uh, one thing I used to do is that I do ensure I, I subscribe. You know, I have a lot of data. You know, before going live, I spend a lot of money bringing this live, and not a lot of money. I do ensure that I, 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 I put in a lot of data before going live. You know, I know what data to get data is in Nigeria. Okay, David Moyo 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 Wabuya. Sorry, 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 sorry if I murdered your name. I've been trying to chat with you, but I will I will next Sunday, but I appreciate the initiative. Thank you very much. Not only on Sunday, on Wednesday, we are going to kickstart a okay, David. Yeah, David, this is what we are experiencing. I'm, I'm actually seeing you trying to appear on the screen, but uh, what is written there is that device not connected. I don't know, you check, are you, I'm sure, you should check your camera. Check if your camera is connected. You click to turn on your camera, or you just need to do some settings. I think you need to do some settings for you to uh, appear live. I believe there is something you've not done. So it's showing device not connected. So just try to click on some things. You might act, you might be very lucky to join us. All right. However, as I was saying, this program is not just going to be for Sundays. Every Wednesday, we're going to be having fundraising, and we are going to have our account details on the screen. And then you contribute. I'm going to be. I'm going to be uh, mentioning names. Anybody that won or yeah, I can. Yeah, certainly. If someone I might, if I'm permitted, I can say so. So person donated so so amounts for the project, and then I'm going to be keeping in touch, and then I'm going to be updating you guys so far on the money that we are going to raise on that project, either on weekly basis or monthly basis. We're going to be updating. So far, we've gotten so so amount for the project. So far, we've gotten amount so so amount for the project on Wednesday. I'm going to mention, I'm going to tell you how much we need to set up Fish Academy Vocational, Vocational Training Center. So please be prepared. There is nothing that will be too small for that project. That project will belong to everybody. And also, um, anybody that may want to take up a particular structure in that place, said, ah, Francis, I want to be the one to build the hostel. We do that, and at the end of the day, we put your name. We can put there, if it, if it is Rocafort that is building the hostel for us, we put there Rocafort's building. Just as we have it in universities, if it is Mr. Francis that is building it for us, we put there Mr. Francis' building. If it is Mr. Christian that is building, is giving, that is giving, or is building a particular section of the farm, we put there Mr. Francis or Mr. Christian. That is what we are going to do. Yeah, so... And then we have the names of people that actually contributed for the project, collected on gold uh, and different just things. We're gonna it's, it's, it's a project that we must start on my own. On my own, we may not be able to do that. Uh, Mr. Nelson is trying to join us again. Mr. Nelson, do you want to come live? I'm seeing you. Okay. Okay. Let me bring you live. All right. Okay, Mr. Nelson. Yes, yeah. please. Yeah. Uh, Welcome. Oh, yeah, there, there is always here at our end. We have lots of interruption in the network. Okay. So, yeah, I went off and I could not uh, uh, come back uh, shortly. Okay, I think you, you were talking about Ashri before the. I think that's what yes. you're talking about. Yes, yeah. please. Okay, Dehashari. go ahead. Yes, Dehashari, we need those uh, steps clearly. I bring them up, those videos. They are very helpful. I watched most of them, but at least a recap is not also not bad. Sorry, I didn't get that. Uh, what I'm saying, 
he uh, you bring up uh, uh, new, new videos concerning the hatchery stages from yeah. the start the starting point to at least fingering stage. All right, all right. We'll yes, we'll yes. Do that. yes, please. And uh, at least if we would do also uh, follow our topics in the coming uh, videos, it will also be better. Because like for today's topic, it wasn't handled <laughs> uh, because of now uh, our engagements that we have had so far. All right, all right. Yeah. No, no yes. problem. Yes, uh, like for that, uh, that one we had uh, got prepared for the feed conversion ratio and the like. All right. No, no problem. Yes. No problem. We'll 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 anything for me also okay okay let me bring let me bring him to the screen mr okafo mm -hmm. hello mr okafo yeah mr christian i'm seeing okay. behind the camera very soon i'm going to bring you live if you uh, yeah so go ahead mr okafo okay hi mr nelson it's a pleasure um hearing your issues or problems or challenges let me put them challenges yeah. right Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah oh, what yes, you uh, said, what you said, is the same thing, same challenges we have back home in Nigeria. So oh, yes. the only thing is that you have to be determined and focused to be able to uh, jump over the hurdles, and then you you make a way through. Yeah, I oh, do um, oh, wish you the best, and then um, Francis is gonna. And uh, if you anchor with Francis, I think uh, you're going to get good information. Because as you see him there, that head that he has is a cyclopodia. He's got a lot of information <laughs> there. Yeah. He is a, a Google in his own way. Yeah, he, he has a lot of information, yeah. And then I like your spirit. I like your spirit. You are... Yes, please. <laughs> yeah, I like your spirit, the way you do things, you know. You don't have any hidden agenda. You are very plain. You are what you are. <laughs> Some people are hiding, but you're not hiding. Okay, <laughs> so I wish you all the best, yeah. Uh, okay, and then so I'm, plan oh. I'm planning to visit uh, Uganda uh, maybe oh, yeah. middle of next year, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. shall be grateful yeah. to receive you here in Uganda. Yeah, it's a pleasure, yeah? Uh, yes, Thank please. You, yeah. All right, uh, then. Th Thank you. Uh, thanks. Uh, thank you, too. All right. Well, yeah. All yes, right. please. All right. Okay, so that was uh, Mr. Nelson. So uh, right now we have, oh, my God, Mr. Peter has left. I was about to bring Mr. Peter live. Uh, Mr. Peter, you can click on the link again. I was about to bring you live before uh, you, you left, you know, before before uh, uh, it disappeared. So you can click on the link again, because certainly we would like, I know you have some things you want to tell us, and then uh, we are ready to listen, and uh, yeah, everybody are ready to listen to you. Mr. Peters, please join us again. All right, so that was Mr. Nelson from Uganda, you know, uh, he told us about how fish farming is done in Uganda, Fish that is common in Uganda and all that, how the business is done there. And then, yeah, at the same time, we found out that we are still, that even in Uganda, that feeding is still a problem. I still see that feeding is, a, is, is, is something, I mean, it's not just a Nigerian thing, but almost everywhere, feeding is a problem. Do you know why feeding is a problem? Is because these companies they need to get all these raw materials. They need protein for them to. I mean, they need to get a lot of this uh, uh, protein in order for them to make a good feed. So when they source for the protein, the price of feed increase. You know, so that that is just a problem. So if you 
can also produce your kid put in, at least if you go to the, you go to various places, you see that, that a lot of things are being thrown away. You get that and then you make use of it for your peak production. That's why I, I told you guys that you see some some of these companies that are producing feed now, they are producing their, the feed from their company waste. You know, they are using the company waste to produce feed. I don't want to mention names. They are using their company waste to produce feed. Those things they used to go and throw away in the bush. They used to go and dump in a, in a burrow pit and then they cover it with sand. That is, those companies now, they are not producing feed using those stuff. Okay? And they are selling it. No, 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 no. So you can produce your own feed. Okay? You can actually do that. You can do that. And I tell you, you do that, you are going to make more profit. Are you a small scale fish farmer? You are not, uh, you are not that uh, financial, uh, financially buoyant to buy a pilot machine. You know, you can actually produce with, use your hand. I've shown you how to do that in some of my videos. You can actually use that, which I'm going to be, I'm going to make that video again with another formula. You can actually use that method to feed your fish, and your fish will still do well. You don't need to use machine to pilotize your fish food. Remember, notes underline it. You don't need machine. It's not necessary, not necessary that you produce your feed using machine if you're a small scale fish farmer. I'm saying this because you're a small case, uh, scale fish farmer because I can remember um, when my uncle was running a, a 6,000 capacity fish farm in Delta State, there was nothing like pilot machine, okay? So we're able to use our hand to do the feeding. We're able to use our hand to do the feeding. So you can also do that. But if you have the capacity, you have you are financially buoyant to get the machine, certainly you can go for the machine. Okay? In Africa, we are blessed with genius in the past generation. We had people like Nelson Mandela, um, and we and people, yeah, people like Nelson Mandela, and now we have Francis, because of this, okay, did someone just send this message, you know? Um, well, uh, uh, it's a message, you know, I think it's a message from David. Um, yeah, um, as I said, no going back. Um, I must, uh, what, what I'm determined, what I need to do is that I have to ensure that we bring Africa out of poverty. We have to bring Africa out of poverty. We can do this. I'm happy. I, I know some of the people that are doing this. I, I used to admire my wonderful uh, fellow YouTuber in Ghana, Udumaya, uh, who is doing wonderfully great trying to bring back Ghanaians to Ghana to invest in Ghana, not just Ghana, but Africa in general. So Udumaya is one person that I will want to meet when it comes to Nigeria, because he's planning a trip to Nigeria, or maybe when I, when I, when I also arrive in Ghana. Udumaya is someone that is encouraging the people to invest back in Africa. And then, my own is that I'm doing what I'm supposed to do without looking back, without fear or favor. I have to keep doing what I need to do to bring Africa out of poverty. I want to uh, make you to understand that without queuing up in the pooling units to collect five five thousand or two two thousand that they, that if they make if they if they if they if they are stable financially. They don't need to go and queue up in a pulling booth to be collecting money, selling their boat and bringing in wrong people into government. I want to use this platform to tell to, to make the youth understand that if I can make it, that they can also make it. I want to bring this, I want, I want to use this platform to encourage the youth, understand, to tell you, to, to encourage the youth that they can do it. They can do it. Even if you graduated 
so many years, you, you did a professional course like me. You did a prof you studied a professional course like me in university. You can still switch to becoming a farmer. Farmers are great people. You can never be broke as a farmer, except you want to be broke, except you don't get the right information. I used to tell people, imagine our ex-president, President Rushegu Obasanjo, which I will want to meet one day, okay? Run a very big farm in Ottawa. Imagine our ex-president, uh, good luck, a belle, Jonathan. A lot of you don't know that he owned a very big farm in Abuja. I'm aware, okay? Which I will also want to meet with one day. Mr. Mrs. Stella Odua, former aviation minister, owned a very big farm, which I will also one day I want to meet her. A lot of them. Should I continue to mention a lot of governors? All of them, they own farms. You know, at the end of the day, when they retire from their, uh, from, from, if they we ever retire, but when they retire, they go back and be making money from their farm. And they don't, they, 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 they try to make you feel that farming is something that is for the poor. Or if you're a farmer, you're a poor person. No, if you're a farmer, you can, you, you shouldn't see yourself as, uh, as someone that people will look down at. No, you shouldn't. Farmers are great people. It's not easy for you for you to for you to produce something that is being eaten far location. You should be proud of yourself. Okay? It's, you should be proud of yourself. And one thing I want to tell you again, farming itself is a white collar job. Underline it in case you don't know. Farming itself, it's also a white collar job. Yes. When I say farming is a white collar job, as I speak now, this is my own white collar job. Whether anybody likes it or yes, I own a farm, it is my own white collar job. So you can create your own white collar job through farming. It must not be fish, it can be rabbits, it can be grass cutter, it can be poultry. It can be snail, it can be pig, it can be goat, it can be turkey, it can be anything. You still make money. Okay? And then talking about crops, you know, crops, uh, crops is still business. But I, I, for you to, to make more money in, uh, 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 in crops, I mean, in crop production, you need a, a, a large land for you to make more profit. But you small, if you have a small space, you know, for example, you have two plots of land, you know, and you use that two plots of land for livestock production, I tell you, um, I tell you that certainly you make more money. I'm not trying to discourage uh, crop uh, farmers. I'm not trying to discourage them at all. But I, I'll tell you categorically that there's more money in livestock production than crop production. So, Mr. Uh, uh, Mrs. Uh, Florence is back uh, uh, behind the camera. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Florence, yeah, uh, actually, Mrs. Mr. Capo wanted to talk to you, so I'm going to bring good of the live now so that uh, you guys. Uh, uh, interact, you know, yeah, yeah, all right. So, I'm gonna do that now, okay. Hi. 
Hi, yes. hi. Hello, yeah. how are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let me just uh, go back to your what you said before. You said uh, during your second um, cropping that you didn't make enough money, or you, uh, something happened. What? Well, what? Well, then what lessons did you learn from that? that? Because that's the only way forward. Okay. What did you do wrong? All right. So, um, so it was with the fingerlings that I got um, from the hatchery. Um, I would say I. Um, I trusted my neighbor who is a hasher. And so I ordered um, 15,500 fishes from him. Well, so what I learned personally from that is before I would buy that much fish from any one individual in the future, then I have to know that I saw the brood stock that was used, the condition of the brood stock, and I monitored the, you know, the growth until I pick up my post fingerlings. So what happened, I think, was that um, he did probably he, he didn't give me runs, but when they got to my farm, uh, three uh, six weeks into receiving them, my workers were telling me these fishes are not they have average growth, average growth. So I'm like, well, okay, are you guys changing the water like you should. Um, you know, let's change to Ala Aqua. Well, I'm not supposed to mention any names. So, you know, the top quality feed. We tried to do whatever we could, but at the end of the day, I had to sell them as um, Melodge because the growth wasn't that great. They were having a difficulty hitting one kg. All right. Um, so that's what I learned from that. Um, and so, and so what I now did was that uh, the next time I had to buy a lot from one uh, hash free, I made sure that we saw the brood stock when they arrived, um, when they were picked up, when they were, you know, the process happened of, um, and then we monitored and, I, you know, that's, yeah. that's, that's all I can tell you. Okay. Yeah, basically what I could say, right? Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of parameters that you have to check, but it seems uh, you didn't really go into that, um, like changing water. What about the DO in the water? What about the uh, contamination in the water? Things like that, that will retry, um, withdraw them from growing or things that will make them not to eat. You know, th these are the things you have to um, investigate. You know, you can't just put a blame on the hatcher or from your source so what i would say to you yeah you made um and then do you have a good uh, records of what you do that's another thing well yes so you know we have a ph tester you know um and we also because it's an ethane pond sometimes uh, sometimes the energy level is low you know, um, but I, the reason why I'm blaming the harsh tree is because uh, because it's my neighbor. <laughs> we saw people coming to fight the guy <laughs> just about the time I was complaining. The same people who got fishes from him the time I got mine coming to fight him. Some even actually left their fishes at his door post saying, you know, it was bad. He wasn't doing well. So that's why I concluded that that was the reason why. Okay, um, okay. So you had yeah. a good sample then. Yeah, yes, of other people. And I, I, you know, I, we asked them, when did you get yours? And they said six weeks, two months ago, two and a half months ago. So that's the reason why. Okay. Yeah. Uh, another thing I would like to say to you, right? If when you get your extruder, though, I just got my own extruder about a month ago. I don't mind if we could do like a, jo a joint venture, we could buy stuff together put our resources together, and then we could buy and then split. Where, exactly. you, have your, where you have your farm... In Benin, yeah, Benin City. In Be, no, in Benin. I've been in that particular spot before. I know okay. the place. I know yes. that place exactly. I know what it looks like. Okay. Yeah. So now what we're going to do, we're going to team up with uh, Francis, and then we could get um, suppliers... So let me say, if we buy something, maybe about uh, five tons, 
we could split it into two. You take uh, two and a half, I take two and a half. Yes. You know, depending what happens. Yeah. Yes. I think because the only that. way to succeed in this yes. business now is to do a combo. You know, when you combine with people, then you could put um, intelligent heads together and then you could put both finances together and then you, you come out in a better form. Yeah. Perfect. And then I'm up for those, those people that were discouraging you from producing your own feed, I think they're from the old, old school. They're not really uh, modern farmers. Or maybe they went into farming with um, a bad experience. You know, they were told, do that, do that. If you, if you mix X, Y, Z, then you could get this and that. And then they tried it. I did, it didn't work for them. So well, that is well I, wouldn't, I wouldn't really say so because I try to understand from their point of view because that was the only way I could you know, I could understand where they were coming from. They were talking about items, uh, things like, well, sometimes the workers don't show up. You know, in that area, we have a problem with the high turnover of workers because they said I would need like three, four people to help me run this show, um, get in foil, uh, equipment issues. What if the extruder has a problem and there's maintenance, trying to get the people to come fix it, logistics, the roads are bad. How are you going to, you know, security issues, which wasn't a problem because it's heavy equipment, you know. Um, yeah. So, and the fact that I don't live there because they said, look, if you live here, you would wake up in the morning and you know this is about all your business. But you're abroad, you're already struggling to run a farm of a huge capacity. Now coming to add fish, uh, feed making to it is too stressful. It's not worth it. You might as well just buy feed. Okay, that that that's her own opinion, but I think that's a wrong opinion, though. Yeah, that's that is wrong. Yeah. Well, as you said, there's a lot of staff turnover. Yeah. But I've been uh, with some staff, like my manager has been with me for most thirty years. He said I've got so. another person who's been with me for fifteen years. You know, right, uh, yeah. Um. The least I have is about uh, five years now. So the secret of keeping them is that I look after them and then they look after me. And then they, uh, they partake in the profits that we make. If we make 1,000 Naira, I'll take my 700 and then they split 300. That is how it goes. So they know they're involved in the business. Yes. Yeah, so that is um, what I do, how I do my own stuff and okay. make it work for me. Yeah. Okay. And then I use, um, and as you said, we use um, WhatsApp and all, you know, all these uh, little things. Yeah, it does help. It helps yeah, it a lot. It, it helps, it helps yeah. a lot. When I when I buy fifty bags of feed, I, I I see it on video. And when they take out seven, I see when they use seven, and then we have forty three left. And I monitor it that way. It does help a lot. It's it's a god. It's life. It's a lifesaver. I would say. Um, yeah. yeah. But Mr. Rafa, uh, Mr. Rafako, how can I get your contacts though, so that I can reach uh, out to you and we can talk behind closed doors? Yeah, you could talk to uh, Francis. Francis, yeah. Francis is hard to get. Francis is very hard to get. Uh, he's a very busy man. <laughs> so, <laughs> but okay. uh, hey, Francis, I'll send you a, a message on WhatsApp. Yeah. What? Uh, and what? What we try to do? Uh, always try to also make use of our email address. Uh -huh. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right there. We. Right there. We reply vividly. Let me say, uh, gently not. We reply all the messages on our email. We may not reply all the messages on WhatsApp because of numbers of message that is coming in. But on, on email, at least we know we can attend. And I have a lot of workers attending to, to messages on email. But on WhatsApp, that, that particular one is with me. Until I drop it for now, my WhatsApp messages, I cannot reply all. I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I know. So, yeah, so that, that, that's, the, that, that's it, and then... Yeah. 
and and also you promised you promised to give us the list of um of uh, uh, producers of you know PKC and the rest of them. You know, I'm holding you up to that. <laughs> so you chat me off with your name, you know, and send me that as a reminder. You can do that on WhatsApp. You call me just like you call me at a sound. The right time to get me most of the times is early in the morning or late in the night. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. right time to get me. Florence, don't yes. worry. I know when to get him. I'm going to hold him. <laughs> okay. He's a, very, he's, he's a very busy man. He's a very busy yeah, man. He's, yeah, he's, he's busy. busy, yeah. Yes, he's, he's busy. So, he's busy. No problem. So I, I look forward to speaking with uh, both of you. Thank you so much for your time. And, you know, okay. I'm hoping that in the next uh, one year or so, I can come back again and, 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 and show you guys my factory, you know, and, um, you know, give you more visuals of the farm when I'm in Nigeria. Okay. All right. That, 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 that's great. Yeah. You are, you are, you are doing well. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. Uh, bye. 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 Yeah. So that was uh, Miss, Mrs. Florence. Florence, yeah. Yeah. So it was nice speaking with him. Uh, we've been three, three hours, uh, Three eleven, yeah, three hours eleven minutes into this program, yeah, mm -hmm. is wonderful. And then um, I'm always happy to be live, uh, though uh, uh, we have not been bringing up, uh, up been dropping a lot of videos as I used to do before. Yeah, but certainly we are working on that. The other time, uh, the other time, let me, let me, let me see. Um, let me see. So the other time, I showed I showed you guys something like this, and I said that I'm gonna introduce, I'm gonna show you how uh, to test use this test kit to test your water. Yeah, with this test kit, yeah, you can test for ammonia. With this yeah. test kit, you can test for acidity. Uh, with this yeah. test kit, you can test for nitride. With this yeah. test kit. Test for nitrate, yeah. general hard of water and alkalinity with this okay. test kit. Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna show you guys um, how you can actually uh, make use of uh, how you can actually make use of, of this in one of my video anytime soon. Yeah, I have to buy this in order to. That spending a lot of money, I tell you, we are spending a lot of money to ensure we it's not easy. We are spending a lot of money to bring programs on this channel. We are spending a lot of money, and also we have some of the test kit here. Uh, we also have some of these, we have, we have some of these. Uh, We have some of these, okay? So this is for you to test or dissolve oxygen in water. Uh, any, uh, any, any time, maybe this week, I'm gonna post a video and then to test for the uh, oxygen level inside your inside your pond, especially for those of you that, uh, that do ashing and not those of you that have noisy ponds. So these are some of the things we got. Some of this, they are expensive, certainly. They are expensive. Oh, they are not expensive. Let me not say they are expensive. And I'll be introducing other things. Yeah, some of the things that you can be using in your farm, especially maybe, yeah. So, checkmate them of water because 
water for fish is very, very important. And when the water is bad, it means everything will go wrong. Yeah, just like uh, what uh, Mrs. Florence was saying and then um, trying to complain of uh, the, the quality of, uh, of uh, fingerlings gotten. Yeah, certainly the fingerlings supplied to you can be uh, a problem in your farm. I'm telling you what is what happens. There's what some farmers have been experiencing. Uh, uh, it might be, the cause might be from the person that supplied the breeder, because it can also be from you, the person that the you that uh, 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 bought the fish from the breeder. This is how to know when you when they, when you are supplied with fingerlings, you're supplied with fingerlings, and you see that the head, the head, Clara, so we are talking about Clara, you see the head, and you see the body, the body is like a, a like a like a tape worm. The body is like cape warm. The body is very flat, and you see the head, and then you see this place gone down. If I this out to, if you see any fish, you are supplied any fish, and then you check uh, by the head area, this place is supposed to have flesh. There is no flesh that has gone down, and what you are seeing there is bone by the head side. Please reject that type of fish. Reject it with immediate alacrity, because if you should stop that fish. I tell you, it will be a problem, okay? Or uh, the, the, you are supplied with fish, you are supplied with fish, and then all the fish, they are not active. In other words, they are sick, they are not active. You hit the container, they are not going down. In fact, they are, they are not active at all. You see them floating, they are not eating. Please uh, call the owner to come and carry back his fish. If not, I tell you, it's either you lose everything or nothing or you don't do well. You understand? And then also, uh, you get some fingerlings and then uh, get, get healthy fingerlings. When you see healthy fingerlings, nobody will tell you that the fingerlings are healthy. Certainly, just like if you should see uh, anybody that is healthy, nobody will tell you that that person is not healthy. You know that it's healthy. They must be physical appearance, his smartness and everything. You know that, yeah, this guy got jack. Understand? So the same thing with fish. Okay? Don't accept fish that are not good. If not, it will be a big problem. And number two, you may be supplied with quality fingerlings. You understand? And then you 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 because you are you are, you are trying to manage water, you, you don't change your water regularly, you just say, ah. I said the water not get it today, we might leave out tomorrow. Understand? And the water was a little bit cloudy, and, and what they supplied is fingerlings. And when I say fingerlings, I know what people supply people as fingerlings. Especially when I go to farms, I say this is fingerlings. I say what they supply you is and collect. As a, as a new farmer, there's there are some fish that you should not start with. If not, you, you end up regretting and, and, and maybe you say you, you might be saying that it's your village people, but it's not your village people. You understand? It's not your village people. So if you, are new, if you are new in the business, try and get, either you get, you buy your post fingerlings or you buy your juvenile. Don't go for those fish that they call fingerlings. My own fingerlings are even bigger. Understand? Because anything I sell, I sell standard. I sell, if I sell, if I'm selling fingerlings, if I sell standard, if it's post fingerling, it must be standard post fingerling. If it's juvenile, it must be standard post juvenile. That's why when you see my video and you begin to wonder how your fish are bigger than not, yes, certainly they are standard. Other people's own, they are still juvenile. But my own is standard uh, juvenile. That is what you've been seeing there on my video. So, and also, anybody that supply you with fish, at least that person should try and be doing follow up. You do follow up, you try, try and be calling the person. Don't, don't, especially maybe you are in Nigeria here. You are, you are in Nigeria or maybe close to the south, south, or southeast. You have to buying fish from somewhere. You now begin to call fish academy that your fish are dying. Then you, you, when you were, when, when, when you were buying your fish, you didn't remember me, but when the fish started dying, you remember that there's fish academy. Eh? <laughs> No, 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 no. Man. We sell. 
some people say, ah, I, I didn't know, I don't know that you used to sell 1,000 fish. Why would you sell 1,000 fish? You sell 1,000 fish. Even there are people that order 500 fish, we sell to them. Certainly, what, how can we encourage the small scale fish farmers if we don't sell fish for them? We sell. There are people that even, some of them that are in here, yeah, they come to our farm and they buy 200, they buy 100. We, we sell. So don't say, ah, it's because uh, we think that you sell from 50,000 or from 100,000 fish. No, you can sell the quantity that you need to you, understand? So don't buy fish uh, elsewhere. And then when they start dying, you need to call me. Call me when you want to buy the fish first. Let me tell you whether I have or I don't have. Okay? Uh, all right? Uh, so that's that. Um, I think I was talking about how to uh, how to uh, identify a sick or healthy fingerlings. Okay, it might not might not just be in Nigeria. Uh, even we, we supply fish to Cameroon, if uh, which I can bring this guy live. I think he should be sleeping now. Cameroon is already night, also like Nigeria. Yeah, we supply fish to Cameroon, and then the people where we supply our fish to in Cameroon, they 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 they, they, they do wonder. I, why is it that your fish is different from the fish? Let me not talk anyway. That is not what we are here to talk about anyway. So, please do everything possible to ensure you are a fish entrepreneur, not just a fish farmer. I used to say there is a difference between a fish entrepreneur and a fish farmer. A fish entrepreneur is someone, a, a, a businessman, who is into fish farming, who takes record of all entries, of everything that happens, all financial, all expenditure, and everything, 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 logistics into consideration, and then do a plus and minus before or after harvest. That is a fish entrepreneur. Please, you will not see that definition in any test before. Don't, don't, yeah, don't, don't go and look for it. Yeah, um, I, I set, I think, yeah, wow, I set my my gen set to five hours. I think it's, it's five hours and the gen is off now. Yeah, so, uh, don't, as I said, that definition is dark now. Very soon I'm going to leave, I'm going to end the session any minute from now. So I said that definition, you are not going to see it anywhere, in any textbook, anywhere. But not, just know that a fish entrepreneur is different from a fish farmer. A fish farmer is someone that maybe, uh, my, uh, when I'm trying to say, a fish farmer, if you're a fish farmer, don't just be a fish farmer, that's what I'm trying to say, don't just be a fish farmer, be a fish entrepreneur. Understand, someone that takes record, someone that knows how much he or she, how much you are spent in business before or after harvest. That is the only thing that qualifies you as a fish entrepreneur. So I, I want to end this session now before people will come to my program and begin to say, oh, your video is very bad. I'm not going to be watching your video again because it's not easy. And then put a lot of comments from YouTubers or from uh, people that view. They might not actually know that the video from the beginning was clear, but the end part is bad. You know, so they say, ah, this guy's video is not, is not that quality or not. I can't be watching this type of channel. So because of that, I have to end this session. So I come your way again. I remain your humble friend. But before I go, uh, let me bring my uh, uh, reserve uh, uh, person to the screen so you can also say hi. Uh, Mr. Rokafor, I, I want to thank you for being live with us for the past three hours, 24 minutes. Yeah, uh, you've been a wonderful person, a result, a, a, Reserved person for my program, and I tell you, we will continue to work together to ensure we bring Africa out of poverty and we continue to ensure we continue to educate the people on how to go about a successful fish farm. So, thank you very much for being with me from the very beginning of this, uh, from today, uh, this program to this time. So, uh, if I want to say bye to the viewers. Yeah, bye to everyone. Thank you. It's been a pleasure mixing with everyone. Francis, bye. Good night, guys. All right. Hope good night. See, hope to see you next week. Yeah. Uh, not, not on Wednesday. On Wednesday, we are going to be doing fundraising. Fundraising. Okay. 
for Fish Academy Vocational Training Center project. We are going to kick okay. that point. Yeah, what so about, I would like um, your advert. Can you be doing advert slots and then be using that to raise to raise money though for that project? Yeah, we are, we are currently we are going to work on that. Yeah, we're going to work on that. We're, still, we're going to okay. include that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. Then. So thank you. When Wednesday, Wednesday, eight p.m. is fundraising time. Whether yeah, certainly let's see how we how we are going to start. Certainly, there's always a beginning for everything. All right. Thank okay. you very much. All right. Okay. All right. Bye. All right. Bye. All right. Au revoir, bye. Asiero, tout bon.